Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sun Tzu campaign. Now two days in a row, isn't that crazy? I don't think this campaign's ever been on two days in a row to be honest. I've been uh, kind of lackluster with this one. Lots of things have come out that I've wanted to play recently. But uh, we are very close to finishing this campaign now. In, in fact, we might do so this very, uh, this very day. Um, because we are now, uh, we've taken all the towns down here, so we've now basically unified the south. All we got to do is take these three towns, which aren't, you know, they're not not unified. They're just not owned by us. Um, we vassalized this faction here. Uh, we vassalized, of course, Liu Zhang. We've even vassalized Sa Cao last time, whom I will be annexing uh, at some point in the future. Um, I have actually been told numerous occasions, and I, I never really paid attention to it, to be honest, but... That uh, when you annex someone, that you don't actually get, that you only get generals that are currently in their army, or like in the field, sorry. Um, and I've never really paid attention to that, but if that's the case, we'd be missing out on a lot of characters that he has, because there's quite a few characters in his faction that we can't see, because they're not currently out in the field. Also, totally forgot to put my webcam on. Hello, I have a new shirt. Look, it's, it's, uh, it looks... It looks different because of my saturation on the webcam, but yeah, it's kind of pinkish, but that's okay. We can't see you. <laughs> I was uh, way ahead of you, <laughs> uh, beep boop. Beep boop. Um, anyway, so last time, we also created an empire last time, so that was something that we did. Um, so that's good. We um, we we had, who was it? Oh yeah, it was Gongsun Zan, right? Uh, who joined our empire. So that's uh, that's something, yeah, he's part of our empire. That's cool. Uh, now we can see you. Hello, Callum White. Hello. <laughs> Just as I'm about to leave the house. Well, postpone whatever you're about to do. But I'm about to visit my grandma in the hospital. You can do that again tomorrow. <laughs> no. Um, right. We, uh, we can build some buildings. We're still making a good amount of money. Let's build that up to level four first. So we can build two things at once. How about that? Uh, let's go for... So we're doing income from commerce. Let's just build that, I guess. I always build the... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I think the state workshops is better just because the minus corruption you can get. Uh, upgrade that because why not? Get myself some military infrastructure here. Upgrade that. This is a really weird province, by the way, in terms of what I have. I need to upgrade it to level 5, really, but... I just don't care enough is the problem. To, uh, to min-max all these buildings anymore. I'm just kind of building what I can build, what I see that needs to be built, and then I'm just kind of moving on from there. Was that? No, that wasn't that one. Uh, I wanted to upgrade this because this is my capital, so I'll go for the uh, plus reserve capacity, I guess. I don't It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. It doesn't matter, to be honest. Okay. Um... And now our main goal would be to move these armies up north as fast as humanly possible. So I have a couple things I could consider here. Um, and that is to either go towards Ma Tang or the Kingdom of Liang. Uh, but we already have two armies in position there to attack whenever we want to. We uh, we had some treaties still that we were waiting to... They're gone now. I'm not sure if we can already attack them with no repercussions. But um, Or I could send some armies up towards... Oh, there's actually an army of Kingdom Liang there and there as well. Right next to Cao Cao. So if we declare right now, Cao Cao, I guess he would be inside of his town. It wouldn't be too bad. No, he'd probably be alright. But yeah, there's two armies right there of the Kingdom of Liang, so that's interesting. Um, but anyway, yeah, so or we could go, uh, send some armies up here, so when we eventually attack the Kingdom of Song, yes, um, we can take him out real quick as well. So either focus on one or focus on both at the same time. Uh, alternatively, what I can do, because it's quite a fucking journey to get up there, is to just disband my armies and rebuild them uh, once we've uh, taken these towns up here. Which is probably the one that I'll do with these two armies. So I think what I'll do with him is I will... Uh, I'll, I'll go normal movement for now. And we'll just head up towards Ma Tong's territories with this army. And then these ones I'll probably disband and re-recruit up there. Uh, but for the moment I'll start marching them up because I don't want to disband them right now. Um... Because if I do that, then uh, my faction will appear quite weak if I just remove two armies from existence. Uh, and then I might get attacked and that would be really bad. So I'm going to do that once we've um, annexed Tsao Tsao. 
Hello, Pranav Yoshi. Joining for the first time. Damn. Hello, Gistoso. Welcome. Love your guide vids, Donkey. They're, these are really helpful. Thank you, Matus Kushlaj. Kushlag. Kushlag. Sorry. Um, I said we can't see you. Legit three seconds before you turn on your camp. Yeah, you did. But on my end, I'd already turned it on. So it was after. <laughs> um, you'll be back in an hour and a bit. All right, see you later, Callum. Have a good one. All right, anyway. So um, can we already declare war on you without any repercussions? Oh, the answer is yes, as it turns out. Let's do it then. War. War never changes. So I think um, now that we've taken this town here, we're going to build... Oh no, Sima Yi just got randomly wounded and I'm guess he got a negative trait. He's mained. Luckily not too important on a, a character such as him, a strategist, but still. One of those dumb things that randomly happens, but alright. Get that up to level 3 so there's a better garrison. That's where they made a mistake, they didn't have it up to level 3. We're going to take another copper mine, which will be very good for money. Is this level 3 already? Yes, it is. I'm still going to delegate that though. Hello. Oh god, I can never know how to I never know how to pronounce that. Even more insanity. Oh, it's not very difficult actually. As it turns out, it's just three words stuck together. It wasn't that bad. Uh yeah, we want to get this up to level five ASAP as well. Yeah, I think we're gonna take maybe in one or two more towns and then build an army. Maybe even go further. We'll see. Maybe take Wudu and then we'll build an army there or something along those lines. I think I'm gonna take this no I can't. I was gonna say take this opportunity to replace these guys with actual Jian sword guards, but I can't afford to do so, so I will not. Also, last time we recruited, which I can't do anything about, Pei Yuan Xiao, but he has a level up and I can't spend it because he is, of course, not a carry. This is a bug. He's not supposed to be recruitable for us because he's a he's a veteran. He's a, um, a yellow turban character. Um, he did bring uh, some interesting gear. Well, he, he brought his weapon that we can't normally get either. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just a yellow turban only weapon. I've never seen this used by anyone else anyway. Except for maybe Zhu doesn't he use like a massive mace, but... Anyway. Uh, so yeah, we can't upgrade him. I'm not sure if I'll even recruit him. I'll probably just let him die of old age in my faction, just because why not? I wonder if I could put him into office, actually. I can. Alright. I wonder if he'd be good at any specific kind of office. Um, I can also marry... <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'll marry him into the family. Um, anyway, I think we're, I think we're good, honestly. Um... Next army is going to be consisting of Ma Chao. I need some. I need some character. Maybe I will actually put Pei Yuan Chao in there, because I do need an in, uh, an infantry character and uh, an infantry leader. I also still want to recruit an army with Zhang Hong and Zhang Zhao, but if I do that, then I need to take Zhang Zhao out of this faction. Where is he? He's uh, he's leading an army. There he is, <laughs> um, leading an army of Guo Jia in it as well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's 53 years old already as well. I really ought to get him out of there ASAP so I can actually use them. He's 56. Oh, I didn't realize they were so old already. Maybe I'll just use Zhang Hong. I don't know. It's, it feels bad not using them, to be honest. Anyway, uh, with the remainder of money that we have, we can't really do a whole lot. Let's see how far away we are from making him abdicate, just out of curiosity. 25.4 already. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be a very quick, uh, a quick thing. Uh, other than that, we could make Lubu a vassal, but I think I don't want to spend any more resources on doing that. I guess I should get uh, military access of Gongshan Zhang, although it's a maybe, so I have to pay him for it, which I don't want to do. We can piece out of you, but that's not what I want. You're not the one that I want. Uh, okay, so I think we're good to go. We could use a spy. Alright, you still have a hundred fucking things. I can remove him, right? I can extract him from there. It's not the end of the world, right? Um, would it be? Would it? Would it be? Uh, would he be? Uh, like, would it be realized that he is uh, forcing any other jobs to be recalled and granting a new active army in the field? <laughs> That's probably like a declaration of war as well. Um, he's already a, a high tier character as well. He's an administrator. And I think he's something else as well. I can't remember exactly. Hold on, I can probably see some stuff here. Is anyone here that's unhappy? Not not unhappy enough, anyway. The heir. Yuan Yao. So what is what is your, your general? But I'm pretty sure he was also like a, a high-ranking character, if I remember correctly. But I have no idea where to find that out. Actually, no, he has no administrative position, so he's not. 
Open gates. Unless that means... Because he is an administrator, isn't he? Is that not what that icon means? I, I'm so confused right now. Either way. Um, empower trade, I guess. Just, I don't know. Do something with your points that you've got saved up over there. Might as well do something. Alright. That actually increased my income. Because we went from 14 to 15k. It may have only been like a tiny bit that actually just got us over the edge from that number. But still. Okay. Let's uh, remove ourselves to the next turn. Hello, Zero Grim. Peace. You give him peace right off. Who? <laughs> Hi. Hello, Freshweed, aka Mr. Sai Saifudin. That's quite the name. Quite the name indeed. Did Cao Cao even join my war, by the way? I totally forgot if that's a thing in this or if you have to ask, actually ask him to join in. Um, wait. Wasn't wasn't that your vassal, Yang Feng? I could have sworn that was your vassal. Oh no, Lu Bu. Oh, oh, is that bad? Elder Cheng. Cheng Pu has fought many battles in his long and storied career. One of your younger generals is taken to calling him Elder Cheng as a mark of respect. The name spreads quickly, much to Cheng Pu's disgruntlement. Oh, <laughs> how sad. Yep, there he is. <laughs> oh, I think the next army may actually have Lu Bu in it instead, as it turns out. All right. Get Lubu into our army, or into our faction, first first and foremost. Oh, and he brought his weapon too. What else did you bring? He's unhappy, obviously. Yes, he's uh, zero happiness. That's fair enough. He brought Sky Piercer, and he brought Red Hair. That's pretty good. Uh, that's also pretty good. And that's also pretty good. Not for you specifically, but... Uh, although I might, I might upgrade him and put him into my... Uh, into my uh, into a high ranking position anyway. Let's see how happy he would be from just doing one of these ones. Yeah, he's totally fine with that. Because uh, he would give me some bonuses to certain things, melee damage for all shock up. Because I got I got a couple people in here that aren't super good. I still want to keep him. Like Tai Chi Chi gives us some unit bonuses, which are okay. Cheng Pu doesn't really do anything. Eh, construction cost reduction. Definitely can't fire. Okay, so Lady Wu is a yeah is always staying in because of her corruption reduction. That's the most important thing. Liu Jun, same thing, and Zhu Yu, same same thing. So it's between Tai Chi Chi and Cheng Pu on whom I would fire. This one gives us extra armies and recruitment cost reduction. This one gives us food production. He's level nine, so we get the max bonus as well, which is pretty good to know as well. So I think I'd probably make him the Grand Command com Commandant, which means I'd lose 10% range damage and 10 melee evasion for melee infantry, or alternatively, some public order, a little bit of satisfaction as well, actually. Bonus per units, but I think he had that too, and then trade influence. Yeah, this is this this is definitely a lot worse. Maybe I'll put him in here. Um Let's go for military supplies, why not? Not that I ever think it will be a problem. And then I'm going to put you in there, because I'd rather get this bonus. And actually, it could be some el someone else even. You're level 8 already, uh, so I can get more trade influence trade agreements, uh, or more available armies recruiting. Yeah, let's just, put, let's just do that. And then Lubu is going to go in there. We got satisfaction, morale, and territory, income from industry. That's pretty good as well. Melee damage for all shock calf, income from all sources, and redeployment, co redeployment cost, which is also pretty good. Definitely doing that. All right. Everyone else is happy enough, right? Yeah. Good enough. Okay. Lubu. I'm going to have to... Well, I guess we do get this bonus now. I'm going to keep that. Oh, that's where the income from industry, of course, comes from. I don't think this is really worth it for you. We'll give you this instead. And then the 41 is going to go to someone like Sun Chuan, who already has a better one. Um, I do want the 5% income from all sources, because that's actually pretty good. Uh, oh, we still have that thing to give away as well. Who wants it? You. There you go. Congratulations. Um, Lady Wu. Here you go. You, well, actually, I'd have to give her to her the next turn, of course. But yeah, we're going to give her this thing for the income from all sources. Okay, we got to level up on you, but that's irrelevant, because we can't spend it. And then Zhang Hong can get... Uh, Let's get this one first. Again, he's not even in an army right now anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Alright. So Cheng Pun now has a new background. Like, newer than before? I don't know. Elder Cheng, yes. Ooh. 
I wonder what changed. What did he have before? Oh god, I kind of wish I knew now. Does he still have a 90... Oh, he's 101% melee evasion now, because I guess his um, expertise went up from this. Because he has 70 stats now, which is actually really, really good. So I guess he did actually get a bit of a buff. I'm assuming the melee evasion in Public Order was already there, but I honestly don't know. Man, this guy's a lot better than I thought he was. He is literally invincible right now. <laughs> Unless he get debuffed, of course, but... That's pretty good. I can even... No, I can't. I thought I had another horse, but no, I don't. I, I think I gave that to someone else. Yeah, him. Alright, fair enough. So, uh, Lubu, you're definitely going to be popped into an army. I can guarantee that much. But let's have a look at all the other stuff first. So, we've got some buildings. Um, this is income, so the state workshop. Upgrade that. Um, I do want some money for building an army, so I'm not sure if actually I should be spending this all, but... Unless I want to hold off and build it later. I'm not, I'm not sure, to be honest. So you're going to go and attack Wudu right now. Unless I want to recruit or like, exchange these units first. But I think I think it's okay. There's nothing in there. So we should be able to take that immediately. May have to fight it manually, but... Uh, yeah, if I don't want to lose a ton of troops, I'll have to fight that man. Oh god, they have four Bastion artillery. That is a lot. Fuck it, let's auto resolve it. Hope I'm not too late to watch the stream. Thanks for all the guided tips Shogun 2 in the last stream. No worries. That wasn't my last stream. That was like four streams ago, but I appreciate it. Um, you're not too late. I, I just started 16 minutes ago. So you're not missing a whole lot yet. This is the uh, unique building, which downgrades to the regular guard post. So I guess I will downgrade rather than demolish and then re rebuild it at level 3. Uh, we don't want food here, so that can be demolished altogether. And then you've got a level up. Very nice. You can get Venomous Shot. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had that, so... Nice to try. Or maybe I have, actually. I can't remember. Okay, so now we could recruit Lubu here with an army. We'll, we'll have a look at who I'm going to put in that army, because I have no idea. Maybe it should be Lubu with the two uh, Zhang brothers. Or Zhang family members. Sorry, they're not brothers. I keep... Keep messing that up. Me me messing that up. Uh, replenishment's not really relevant. The sprint. So, honestly, yeah. The fastest way, just up this way, basically. I mean, I'll be trespassing quite a bit, though, if I do that. So, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll take a slightly different path. You are going that way. You can start sprinting now, for sure. Oh, we have to go through the water again, so we don't trespass. Okay. Um, also, this faction became a vassal. I wonder if that's still the case. No. <laughs> so they became a vassal um, to Liu Biao, right? And then like a turn later, Liu Biao died and Liu Bei confederated with Liu Biao's territory, which basically <laughs> freed them up again immediately. So they went for like... I don't know how long they were trying to fucking fight there. It took a very long time. Oh my god, Young Feng is huge. Um, yeah, they were fighting for a long time, and then they ended up actually just... Uh, um, free again, after all. So, that's fine. What the fuck? Okay, that's all you got. Um, can you just paint... Oh, it's 830. Well, I'll take most of it. I don't know why I'm... What am I doing here? If you got any ancillaries, actually, that'd be better. Nope. Right, fair enough. Which DLC would you like to see for free game? I, I, I honestly don't have any preference. I don't know the era enough to be making um, informed decisions on that myself. I just want to see more DLC. That's that's about all. That, 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 that's all, folks. Uh, you're going to go take the, this city here. Yes. And this one I will fight manually. I don't want to lose any more stuff that I don't need to. Or any units. How, how close are we now? 20.9. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're going to get there real quick. This campaign might end sooner today than I thought. When, I'm when am I allowed to annex you? Uh, oh, one more turn. And then I'll still get minus 20. but Or minus 21 even. But uh, next turn, so that probably does mean I'm going to disband this, these armies and then rebuild them. Now, do I want to build an army for Lubu right now? I think I do. 
where would I want? Yeah, definitely here. This makes this makes sense. Lubu, no, not Machao. Sorry, Machao, you were so close to being recruited, and then you're just being oh, overlooked again. Time. But that is the way. The cookie doth indeed crumble. Uh, there, Chang Hong doesn't like him. We can actually use Pei Yuan Shao. Actually, likes him, which is kind of funny. Um. I'm gonna recruit Pei Yuan Shao first and just kind of see what I can do with his units. Like, can I recruit regular units? Yeah. Although not uh, better than Spear Guards, which is kind of shit. Although we have free infantry of Jing already. So I'm kind of tempted just to keep him and then just recruit. I don't know. Maybe keep two of them. It'll be a very weird uh, unit or, like, what do you call this? Uh, retinue. But we don't really have anyone else we can recruit there, to be honest. I guess she won G, who is not... He, oh, she is part of my faction. Who are you? You're pretty good. Uh, she's lame, but she's pretty good. Maybe I'll recruit her. For a random general, she's not bad. Pay you on shout, it sounds so much fun, though, to recruit him. Um, I don't know. She's probably better. But pay you on shout. It's pay you on shout. It's just that pay you on shout can't recruit any good units is a problem. Yeah, I'll take her. Let's get her out. Get him out of here. Let's uh, remove the units I would never use in here, and I keep the other ones in case I do end up recruiting him after all. Okay. And then you may remove yourself from our presence, and then we're gonna recruit uh, Zhang Hong in here. I think. I mean, Lu Bu doesn't like anyone anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Well, they, they they like each other, so that's something. Right, you're just going to get a bunch of these boys. Oops. And then replace those two as well. You have one unit of camp crushers, which makes me very tempted to keep them. You also have three units of um, heavy shooting on camp. Oof, heavy. Oh, wait, no. Two heavy and one regular shooting on camp. This is a very weird... Um, okay. I'm gonna remove the G infantry. I'm just kind of thinking if I can do this in a way where I get to keep most of the units. We have bandit gang and shit in here. What the fuck is happening? What is your retinue? Why is it all bandit stuff? Zhang Hong, what happened to you, dude? <laughs> um, all right, let's get a bunch of mercenary archers with you. With, with, wow, with you? These guys look like mercenary archers, but they're not. Um, you know what? No, I'll, t I'll do the same as I did with the other army, and then we'll. Get one trebuchet. Okay, I'm gonna remove these. Let's just remove them for now so I can see where we're at with the units. So, if I were to recruit two units, where would they go in the middle? That's so fucking annoying. Um, okay. Which would put the heavy shoot down cav and the it's just it's gonna annoy me if I have it, uh, if I have it like that. I kind of want to keep the camp crushers and then I'll recruit. Oh, I can't! Damn it! I was gonna say I'll recruit one of those sword units. I guess I can recruit them in here, and uh, no, it just be it'd be so fucking weird. Okay. Um, I'm gonna recruit. I'm just gonna recruit a really weird Garrett. Let's just do. Ah, uh, no, this. <laughs> I need some anti-cav. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Remove these ones as well. Um, I want two of them. Not in the middle, though. Actually, I guess that's okay. With the last one. Um, God, I hate this system. Nope. Hold on. So, what if I do you and then those? No, they end up in the rear... <laughs> Fuck this game, dude. I hate this so much. Okay, what if we get rid of this shitty on cav as well? Hold on. Now I think we might be talking. Oh god, hold on. How's this gonna end up looking? It's all over the goddamn shop, but at least it keeps the two heavy shitty on cav, right? Why can't they just line the two? Li why can't they line the, the the same units up together? Why is why is that so much trouble? Okay, so I think the way we do it is that one, that one, that one, that one. Yes. All right. Now it's two cav on either side. I, I'll take that. It's, mir it's mirrored in a way where it actually is pretty good. Okay. This army is done. Wow, that took way longer than it needed to, but it's okay. Oof. Okay. Now I need to give out some gear. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't got any more swords. 
Uh, your XP is already really high. It's actually we do have a sword. Never mind. It's not a silver one. Ugh, no more silver armor though. It's a bit shit. No better horse for you either. Nothing there. And I guess I will give you the replenishment thing, because why not? Maybe I should give her some more HP. Um, yes, and then you should have used the water clock. Oh, which is not on cooldown. Sweet. No sword for you. Nothing here. And nothing there. I can give him this sword, but I don't care enough. You already have all your gear, so it's all good. All right. Still got that battle to do. How are you able to prevent Lubu from betraying? Just put him in a high office. He's got uh, 84 happiness now. So, not really a problem. Um, basically just, I mean, we're, we're at the point where we can put anyone in any position at this point. So, yeah, we put him as Grand com com Commandant. I never know how to fucking pronounce that. We can have six additional armies because he's already max level. Speaking of, do I have any... Um, Yes, I have 51 shared expertise, so let's expertise this boy again. Hopefully he gets to level 8 now. He did not. Uh, he must be close though. So next time he should get to level 8, and then hopefully, that's still a lot of experience. And then we're gonna get him... Uh, we're gonna get extra corruption reduction and everything from that as well, which is gonna be good. Right, you need to do a battle, and then I have some stuff I can build, but not really. I'm out of money. Right, let's do a battle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they have no wall defenses. This will be a bit of a... It'll be a long battle, but not difficult. Any tips for overpopulation in the city? I hate it when I get overpopped. The public order will go downhill. I, since they introduced the new empire system, uh, where you have your faction leader, your heir, and then five officers around them that you get the, all the bonuses from them, I've never had any public order issues again, ever, in my campaigns. Like, it's just way too easy now. So... Even, I've never even really paid attention to over, overpopulation anymore because I finished my campaigns way before that ever becomes an actual problem. And even if it were to become a problem in terms of happy, happiness, we have so much in the way of public order buffs and everything from those six people in office, or seven even, including the faction leader. So yeah, it's not really something I've really concerned myself with anymore. Uh, I'm actually going to attack from this corner bit here. Actually... I will be attacking from here. This is the first time this army is actually seeing battle in the field, I'm pretty sure. We've fought it with it before, but only in Autobus Wolf. You might want to come over here as well, just just because, you know, why not? Alright. Blow some holes in the wall, will ya? Would ya? What's your next free camp campaign going to be after this? I talked about this yesterday, I'm not sure yet, to be honest. Um, it was going to be a bandit leader, but I don't know yet for sure, so I can't say with any certainty what it's going to be. I might do a vote or something. Alright, three more hits there. Do it. God damn it, you son of a bitch. One more hit. There we go. Alright, well since that's already half fucked, that's destroyed as well. Just wanted to say thanks to you. Because I was able to learn how to play Shogun 2 on Legendary by watching your vids. Now it's my favorite Total War game. That's good to hear, Peter. I'm glad you're enjoying Shogun 2. It is one of the best Total War games after all. Uh, can I? Oh, you can't destroy those bits of wall. Okay. Well, in that case, I think we're probably good to just kind of blow up a bunch of units over here. Hello from Argentina. Hello, Eduardo Gonzalez. Um, sorry, I said um, trying to read comments, but then I didn't really think there was anything worth replying to anymore, so then I just totally didn't reply. Are they actually selling out? It'll be the first time I've ever seen the AI selling out of a castle like this, to be honest, if this were to happen right now. We are being shot, apparently. I just realized I'm, so, I'm inside of range of the towers. I, um, I've taken quite a bit of damage from that. Very unfortunate. Since I can't actually... I have no turtle formation or anything, I'm just going to move my art, my uh, infantry up. I lost like 40 men. I lost exactly 40 men, in fact, to that. Very annoying. I'm also going to just bring you guys... Oh, I have, a, I have a bow on you. Oh, right, we have Heartseeker on you. Well, you have no generals to kill, so it's not really that useful, but still. You have... Yeah, okay, let's just bring everyone up. Fuck it, let's go. 
archers, um, including the you boys. You guys just move all the way, all the way over there. You just gotta fire at will. Oh fuck! Ah! Ah! Get in there. And over there. Uh, archers, could you? Oh, we have no fire arrows here. Well, never mind then. I, I guess. C can you shoot towers? Because your explosive shot would that work? I've never tried that before. Oh yeah, that works. Oh yeah, that works. A treat. Okay, uh, just get you guys inside. I don't really care. Just, just fucking get this done already. I'm tired. Tired of this nonsense. Uh, yeah, and then just kill the archers. That'd be good. Just get over there and kill shit. Get in there. Get to killing. You're actually not doing too hot. I mean, you are a fucking strategist, so you wouldn't do, but... Is this online? No, this is just a campaign. How did you reckon? How? How? <laughs> I'm sorry. How did you? <laughs> from seeing this footage, how did you uh, establish that this was online? How did that go? You saw uh, the enemy was six defending units inside a castle and no characters. You're like, yeah, this must be online. Unless you're asking, like, as maybe you're just like stumbled upon the stream, you've never seen a, a Total War campaign before, and you're like, "Oh, is this an online game?" Like, in that case, sure, maybe your question uh, makes more sense. And I apologize for replying in the way that I did. But yeah, I'm used to people knowing exactly what this game is, so it just sounded funny to me. Can you jump in there, please? Charge, so I can do this. Charge! What are you... Is she attacking like one random dude again? Oh, come on, just get in... Just fucking get in, into the unit over here. And then attack it and then do that. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Alright. Uh, see me. why don't you make your way up here as well? I should just triple speed this again, to be honest. Alright, Arch is getting into position to start firing upon those units. Just actually start firing from here. I don't care how you do it, just make it happen. Alright. Arch is not really in a great position to start firing, because most of my units are blocking my shots, but it should still work out pretty well. Alright, scare them outside their own castle. Oh fuck, there's oil. Who put that there? How dare they? Oh, there's actually a unit coming back from here. Impressive. One of you turn around and start firing at them. Oh, they routed instantly. I'm getting shot by this unit, I guess. Alright. Uh, all the archers... Just fire at that unit. That's all I gotta do now. We're gonna get shot by these towers here. Get back inside. Although that unit's not routed yet. What the f... What the f... What in the f Okay, they're almost riding though. Once they do, they'll probably ride as well. And then it'll all be fine. There we go. Alright. Clean enough. I'll take it. Better than auto resolving anyway. I would have fought the other one manually too if it wasn't for the fact that they had four bastion artillery. Bastard artillery. Which would have fucked us up. If I ever played Assassin's Creed. I I have like four Assassin's Creed Let's Plays on my channel. So I'd say yes. Maybe more than that. Yeah, definitely more than that. Ooh, Pacifier of the Han. Capture 20 settlements from factions that belong to Han Chinese subculture. What, like all of them? Uh, we got a new horse. but well, we already gave one to you. So Cheng Pu, you've already got 101%. I don't think you need any more to be honest here. You can have a horse. Um, alright, let's do the old, I'll show you guys how to use YouTube, because so many people don't realize. Right, so what you do is you go to someone's YouTube channel, and then, this again, this only works on PC, not on phone, but even so. 
Rather than searching in the regular search box, you go to this magnifying glass here, and then you type Assassin's Creed, or whatever else you're looking for. And then it'll search my channel specifically. This is one of my earliest Let's Plays, seven years ago. But uh, yeah, I did uh, Assassin's Creed, I did Assassin's Creed 2, and then Brotherhood and Revelations. I did Assassin's Creed 3, and I did a part of Origins, but I never finished it. I think I even did uh, Black Flag, but I'm not sure if that still exists. Oh, and I did the uh, Assassin's Creed Chronicles, China, and also India, but I never did Russia, I think. Maybe I didn't do... F I definitely did 4, but I don't think I finished it. These are all, like, the oldest thumbnails I have as well. So old. Disgusting looking. I'm pretty sure these might even still be with my face cam. Like, terrible, fat face cam. Right there. Look at that, look at that little... I'm, I'm fat now, but back then, even though I'm pretty sure I, I weighed less back then, I had my hair like forward, it looked horrible. This is like 720p as well. It doesn't even say HD, what the hell, whatever. Anyway, so there you go, that's how you search a YouTube channel. Um, I, I give this lesson <laughs> very frequently, because so many people don't realize that it exists. It's such a good little search function. Alright. Let's, let's play the game again, shall we? The thing that we came here for. Uh, just out of curiosity, are you ready to abdicate yet? I'm, it's definitely a no, but um, how far away are we now to be taking another town? 16.3, yeah. We just kill one army. We come up against one army, we kill it, and that's it. But their armies are kind of not here, so. Right, are you at war with the King of Liang as well? No, you're not. So I have to actually ask them to join in. That was the thing. Um... Would you do that for me? Just just like that. Oh, it's it's a declaration. I'm not asking. <laughs> You're doing it. Although, I uh, just realized... I wonder if that's going to ruin my uh, ways of making him a vassal or um, annexing him. I'm not entirely sure. You are not entirely welcome. Um, hello, Nikos. Favorite strategy games other than Total War? I like those older Romans of the Free Kingdoms games and some turn-based Sif titles. Uh, mine are probably like, yeah, turn-based like XCOM type games and things like that. Um, and basically anything turn-based is, is big, uh, big for me. Uh, okay, we, um, we've done enough this turn. Let's continue. All right, that's uh, um, you may invoke defensive pacts with your empire to assist you in this war, except I can't, so I don't think I want to anyway. Vassal requests aid against Zhang Ba, I will join. If you get declared war by Kong Rong and Liu Bei, I may have to decline though. I don't want to be going to war with Liu Bei if I can avoid it. Wait, I can already see if I'm at war with him. No, not yet. So now we're at war with Zhang Ba as well. Because my plan was to attack the Kingdom of Song by declaring war on Zhang Ba. But I wasn't expecting it to happen yet. Oh god, if Cao Cao got declared war as well though by Liu Bei, I'm going to have to end up doing this anyway. I don't want to go to war with Kong Rong and Liu Bei because then I'll, I'll lose my trade, which would be pretty bad. But if Cao Cao got declared war as well pretty bad. If I were... <sighs> Fucking just join in then. Li Bei as well. Zhang Yang. Yeah, fair enough. That's another trade gone. And Li Bei. Alright, well, I guess we're more the entire world now. <laughs> that went quickly. That's unfortunate, that. But it shouldn't be too bad. Although we definitely are going to have to be more defensive now. I won't be able to rush the Kingdom of Song like I wanted to initially. We are basically bordering Liu Bei immediately, which is a bit of a problem. But all right, we have armies going up that way, so it should be all right. Would you do a campaign where you conquer the whole map? He's often said that there is no point to those. Yes, exactly. It just takes more time, and there's like, yeah, there is there there is no point to me personally. I just don't see the point because all you're doing is just doing the, more of the same that you've already done. You've already proven that you can take the entirety of Japan, so why go for the effort of actually doing it? It just takes so long. I don't like campaigns that last too long. I just want to complete complete it and then move on to the next one. Nice satisfaction buff. One more downgrade there. 
I'm gonna upgrade all of these as well. And then build an inn here, I guess. I don't fucking know. Uh, yep, sounds boring now. Alright, our income's gone drastically downhill. And I can't actually continue trade with anyone either. We are respected though. Holy shit! Allied support in war. Fuck me. Okay, I guess that's because I decided to say yes. Just say yes. Uh, okay, still gotta wait for that to go away. Oh, that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna increase my income by a bit. Although, if I'm going to, oh, God, if he did, he didn't even get declared war on by those people, by the way. Or maybe he did. And if I'd said no to the other guy, he, it would have then asked me to join South South. But since I'm already at war with them, it didn't have to ask me. So I think we're actually, okay. I think it would have happened anyway. Right. Um... Well, let's finish off Ma Tong as soon as fucking possible, shall we? That's that's a good idea. What the hell is this? Why is this here? Why didn't I get rid of this? Why is this here? What the? What the? What the? Okay. Uh, oh yeah, it's actually faster to run all the way around. Very annoyingly, but uh, I'm gonna go this way anyway. Hey, it's an army. Very nice. Right, can you reach the Silk Trader? You can as well. You're a little bit fucked, but I'm assuming that there's nothing in there, so just grab it anyway. Very nice. Oof. I have to fight this one, I think. Otherwise, I think medium loss is disgusting. Then again, I, any, anything I lose here, I could replace with the actual better unit, so... Let's delegate it anyway. Yeah, they're pretty low. The cavalry are a bit low as well. I, I could actually replace those with new ones as well. Because the mer oh shit no yeah never mind. Well, this still works, but not the way I ex I wanted it to. I was gonna replace them, but obviously replacing them with mercenary units makes means they're immediately fully replenished. But not if you do it with um, these units. But still, still doing it. All right. So now that I've taken another one of your towns, what do you say? Oh, it's Pongde. I'd love to have Pongde. You want to be part of my kingdom? No. That's not what I came here to ask though. Oh, 6.2, we're so close. Oh my god, that's actually legitimately very close. Um, you can't reach me if I start sprinting, right? There's no way. The movement is just too weak. So let's start sprinting. Alright, we take one more town, we're probably done. So I think I'm going to start running you this way as well. We'll lose the mustering bonus, but that's okay. Looks like we're still replenishing. Oh, there we go. Almost full. Not quite. Alright, so now we're at War Liu Bay. Um, I wonder if I could support Vassal Independence or something with them. Uh, I guess I can't since I'm at war with them, I suppose. That's probably the right the reason for that. Um, apparently you hate me. Do you actually? I just joined all your fucking wars and now you're unfavorable deals. What the fuck are you on about, my friend? Anyway. Um, you are gonna have to re be redirected in this direction towards Liu Bay. Actually, there's a town right there you can take from Liu Bay right away. And then you guys are going to, so instead of running through these towns, we'll have to run through these ones, but you're just gonna actually take those towns instead. I don't want to declare war on the yellow turbans though. We know how bad that is gonna go, because they have way more armies than it looks like. And I think I may have forgotten to move you last turn. So, nice one, dickhead. Uh, yeah, I'll start sprinting you up this way, too. Fortunately, you're still one level too low to get that buff, but I could possibly take a detour, try and upgrade her once I have the expertise available. Is she... Yeah, she'll level up immediately from that, I'm pretty sure. So then we'll be able to move a lot faster, which is good. Alternatively, of course, I could remove the army and every recruit it over here, but I, I'm trying to avoid doing that for now. Right. Um... I have some money left over. Let's see what else I can do first. Because, yeah, we've moved all the armies, so I don't think there's really much else we can do except for spend the money on some buildings, so... Perhaps we should. I'm going through these in a very awkward manner here. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Also, one thing I totally didn't realize, that when Liu Biao died and Liu Bei vassalized and annexed him... Um, not vassalized, just confederated. Um... I lost my insane food deal that I always had with him. I wonder if I could have had one with Liu Bei. Well, he's on six food, so no, probably not. Um, but still, oh, we still like each other. Liu Bei, no. Oh shit, he's also got, yeah, he's, he's definitely got an army there. 
Because that's where he initially had his armies, of course. Although maybe he's moved away from there, I'm not sure. Worst case scenario, we can, we can recruit another army instantly if, if necessary. So I think we're going to be okay regardless. Now, let's spend that last bit of money on whatever the fuck we can build. That's actually useful. Which uh, apparently is very little, as it turns out. I guess we can upgrade that. We have more. Anything useful? No, let's keep it. When did Donkey get Lubu? Like 15 minutes ago? 20 minutes ago? Um, did he give Lubu stuff to Sun Tzu? Nah. I kept Lubu's stuff for himself. Come on. It's his it's his stuff. I'm not gonna give I'm not gonna give a shit to although to be fair, I guess I could just to make him a better duelist. And then he can finally get that duelist thing. Ooh, where are you going with your armies? I guess since he's a war of like the entire world now, he's probably thinking maybe he should actually defend his own lands before he defends mine. Still got the Empire with that. The one faction, I think it might just be the final faction in the world that we're not at war with, besides Yang Feng up northwest. Actually, no, there's Yellow Terminus as well. Well, one of the few factions that we're not at war with is the um, the one faction, you want Shu, where we have a freaking spy. Which is... Uh, oh, he instigated a proxy war between this guy over here and you want Shu. Well, or the Duchy of Zhang, but... We got a kid! Great! That'll never see the light of day. New armor, is it legendary? It is. It's Vanguard Legendary though, which is a bit shit, but alright. Oh boy. We built some buildings as it turns out. Let's get some military infrastructure. Let's exchange this over now to that one. I don't care. Um, could upgrade some place to level 5, but it's just so irrelevant at this point. I'd rather keep my money a little bit as well and not spend all of it. I mean, this is like, I have way too much food already. It's completely worthless doing that. But here I am, pressing the buttons anyway. Clicking them. And that one up as well. I think that's it. Okay. Good. Let's do some more battles. I think this might be the turn that we make him abdicate by taking this here horse pastures building. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, actually. We might still be one town away. Bye, Yoshi. Alright. Let's see where we're at. If I don't have to kill Peng De, that'd be good. Because I quite like Peng De. Right. Abdication, perhaps? What say you? 4.9. Not quite. I didn't actually get much closer that time. Uh, can you reach this ar this town? You can. Can you reach reinforcement range from here? Oh, I think you can. I think you can indeed. I think you might even be able to do by just moving normally. Although I'm not sure actually, because... No, I don't think we... No, because it's the army that isn't actually in range. Like, she's in range of the town, but not of the army of Lubu. Oh no, she is. Well, never mind then. Demand Surrender? Nope. Actually, that would have been bad anyway. So, well, no, it would have been fine. So this is a Silk Trader, which is actually a little town like that. I mean, we're going to fight this one manually. Like, it's obviously not resolved, to be honest, but... We have a bunch of siege equipment, which they don't have. So, we can have some fun. Just shooting them for a while. This should be a little fun battle. And we're coming from two completely different uh, angles as well. And if we take this, then that should be application, I'm pretty sure. Because we'll kill off an army, and then we're going to be a lot stronger all of a sudden. And then I can even recruit some armies on the border of Duchy of Song. We're pretty close to, so that's going to be good. Hello, CB. Didn't think it was going to be snowing, but that's okay. Right, well, since our secondary arm is coming from there, I think I'm just going to attack from here. Maybe this side here, actually. Um, put the trebuchet up there. Flaming shot. No fire at will. Um, and then we just have you boys. Now we get to use Lu Bu as well, which, honestly, we just send Lu Bu in by himself. Although Peng De is there. Peng De is not bad. Honestly, if I had Peng De, I would have put him in this army for sure instead of her. 
but we didn't at the time, so. But yeah, Lubu will uh, honestly just take out all of that by himself, to be honest. But that's okay. Right. Just fire. Actually, can we blow up these walls? Are they... Yeah, they're definitely... Okay, just fire out the... Well, honestly, these are better targets than the walls here. Start burning down everything. This whole camp. It's, it's almost like a fort. I don't know if it's going to work as such, but... Little hill here is kind of in the way. That is not enough to actually make it burn all the way. Right, secondary army. All I care about is the trebuchet, really. But let's move everything up anyway, of course. Okay, archers. You and you. Actually, just get over, just get whatever you can, close as you as you can. Have you destroyed? Oh shit, I kept firing at the walls and I think we're... Yeah, that one's gone already. Alright, it's not gonna burn the entire thing down like a fort, okay. Good to know. Still though, might as well destroy these towers here since we have the opportunity to do so. Gotta take physics to final. You're doing awesome stuff, Mr. Donkey. Keep up the good work. Alright, uh, good luck on your finals, Ethan. It's Ethan! Um, and uh, yeah, let me know when you're back. If you do come back. Right. Let's... Actually, this blob right here is very, very juicy. A juicy target. Does anyone want a jewel, Lubu? Just out of curiosity. Oh, yes, Pong De does. Again, though, Pong De is pretty good. Although, he's definitely worse than Lubu. Um, but Lubu is not too great in jewels, as we all know. So, I don't think it's actually worth doing that. Does anyone want a jewel? Yeah, both of them want a jewel. Him. Her hit, it, herp. We also do have that, but he's on the other side of the map, so not great. Oh, also, it appears the enemy have been running from you. Where's my trap? Still pretty far away. Fair enough. Uh, there's actually no towers that can do anything against me here, so I really ought to move my archers. They have archer militia, so I outrange them as well. So yeah, let's just get these archers up here. Start firing away. Um, let's put two of them on fire arrows. Fire arrows. Do, 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 do. Let's move a little bit more. Yari mate. Yari mate. Are we in range of these towers here? We must be close. Not close enough. Alright. Keep moving up. Uh, okay. Archers are having a field day. So good. Men are out of it. Okay, we uh, we used all the ammunition here. Donkey just bullying AI is fun. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, what else am I gonna do with these AI? It's hard not to bully them with their stupidity. Uh, we don't have fire arrows in there. Do you guys have fire arrows? Yeah, you do. I could try and run over and destroy these towers, but it's I would take, definitely take a lot of damage while trying to do so. So I don't know if that's really all that useful. It's just having an absolute field day here. And the amount of ammo we have as well. These guys start with 55 ammunition. That's pretty crazy. These ones have 61. And they haven't even fucking started yet. Right, are you in range of the towers? Yes, you are. Um, yeah. Why don't we start by destroying that one in the back? Once you can. Still green ammo after firing this long. That's good shit. Move up a bunch. I want to move these guys up in range as well, but we'll just get shot if we do that, so... There's actually an archer captain that will uh, have the same range as us, except as well as that archer there, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Okay, have you done it yet? You Oh, you've burned the oil. Nice one. You haven't actually hit the building yet, though. Still haven't. Okay. It's a bit sad. I know it's just on the edge, so it's difficult, but still. We need like two or three hits for it to... Oh my god, it's still not... Oh, it's getting some fire damage from surrounding stuff. Alright, maybe that'll get it up there. Probably not, though. Arch is still having a field day. Destroy these ones first. Oh my god, I can't hit it. That one's up to 7% now. It's great. 
It needs to get the 50% for it to just keep going up. Also, they got Protectors of Heaven in here. I had not even realized that. Not that it matters. Although we don't have uh, armor-piercing arrows, really. I mean, we have some armor-piercing, of course, but not a lot. Did you successfully hit this one yet? Uh, yes, once, but that's not enough, is it? There we go. 57 will get it up to 100, and then it'll, it'll be good. It will be good. Because if we can destroy that, then we can just move the entire army over. Actually, let's do that right away. And then just get into it. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Uh, like that. No, fuck me. Stop. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's all over the fucking place now. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, just go here. And then you guys go here. And you guys go behind that. Alright. Army is getting back into a normal position. You're just gonna keep. Have you done it yet? Oh, you no, you haven't. You've not even hit that one once yet. What the? F Our general needs aid, does he? Is that you being shot? Yeah, we're in, in, in range of the tower. Because I was gonna, I was assuming we were gonna be able to destroy it, but uh, apparently hitting it even once is too much to ask. Let's put you on fire arrows and just do it. This probably should have been what I done did right away, to be honest. They're actually in range from there. Well, that should be that then. As we hit a, or as we miss a bunch more with our trebuchet, just fire in that blob there. I don't care anymore. enough. We don't need to destroy these ones. That should get that one down or up to 100, percent and it'll be good. Okay, well that volley will definitely get them, get it there. Okay, back on fire at will and move up a little bit more. I'm actually, gonna move you into range as well now, perhaps. Perhaps. And there's still too many archers. They'll just get shot down. I don't want to do that. Maybe time to gather up the generals. Actually, just grab all of them. Put them on the middle here. All right, we're firing like crazy, bombarding the enemy. You haven't really do done a whole lot of killing yet, though, to be honest. Although we have good kills on them. All these fucking smoke screens, though. All right. Generals are gathering. Uh, I will not be doing jewels on you. Or you. Or you actually as well. Oh yeah, we Heartseeker. Yes, we can finally try out Heartseeker actually. I never really... I've used it once in a campaign. I think it was the Ma Tong campaign. That I actually I married Ma Chao to Sun Wen. Uh, and got her that way. And I did it in this campaign as well. Just in a different, or in a different way. The other way around basically. Let's kill this... Uh, Strategist lady first. Stop wiggling about. Just nope. Just pull out your bow. Yes, good. Pull out the bow and do a pew pew. Oh my goodness! I forgot how good that was. I thought it was a multiple shot thing, but that was the crossbow ability from uh, Liu Chong instead. Right, you're actually firing now. Let's move you up a little bit more, and that's good. Uh, you guys are gonna move up a bunch more. You're gonna move right behind him. You're gonna heart seeker him as well. He's definitely got enough HP to survive it because it's 30k. He's got 43k plus 50% armor. So yeah, only about half the damage, but that's okay. We got one more, and then we got Pangda leaving him for till till last. Do you have any other bows, by the way? I don't think so. No. Uh, okay, let's get in and actually just kill this man, although you and you are just gonna kinda sit outside. You're gonna shoot him once more. I was actually not gonna kill him, I'm pretty sure. He's gonna survive that. Pew! Yeah, close enough though. Now he's not very happy about the situation. Alright, we're going in, boys. See my Yi, you're gonna do a little bit of that. You're gonna... Actually, no, we don't wanna... Well, I've done it now, but we don't actually wanna do Rage of Lubu at all. Alright, general's getting inside. Oh, did we kill that other general? Yeah, we must have. Uh, should I even send the infantry in? I guess, just fucking get in there. Just, just attack some random unit that's inside. And all of you as well. Get inside. Don't go around that way, though. Okay. 
Having an absolute field day in here. Where the, think, where the, where the fuck do you think you're going? Are arches still so completely broken like they were at release? Uh, I don't think they ever were because crossbows were miles better. But crossbows has been, have been nerfed quite significantly and now arches are comparable to crossbows. But uh, we have mercenary arches which are even better. So yeah, mercenary arches are really solid, but I don't think they are broken like crossbows were before. Because if crossbows were still unnerfed, I would have been using crossbows still this entire time. Let's um, actually get you guys away from here. Let's Lubu, uh, Let's have Lubu finish that off. Oh, you're just going mental over here as well. Oh, we got Cav going in. I don't know how I fucking managed to select a Cav unit, but hey, she's going in, so let's let's do it. Let's send these ones in as well. Fuck it, everyone in there. What the hell's going on here? Fucking into my archers here, dickhead. Does he still want to duel you? No. How, how surprising. All right. Random handmade guard just in there. He must have charged spears as well, possibly. I don't even know. Yeah, actually, it's most of the archers there, so I think we were we were good. Is he unbreakable? Yeah, he definitely is. He's also unkillable, as it turns out. Come on, all we gotta do is stand. Ne there we go. Stand next to him and win. There we go, and that should be the end of Ma Tong's faction. Although Ma Tong's dead, so it's actually just the kingdom of Liang now, but led by some random. Um, arch is broken. Here screams in Ajin Court. <laughs> I consider crossbows and archers the same category. They are now, but before... Oh, okay, I know what you mean. Okay, that's not, I understand what you mean. Uh, no, they've been nerfed sig uh, significantly. Um, but they're still strong. Hey, there's Pang De. Well, we're, we would have gotten him anyway from confederating, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely hiring him because he's great. And then, you too? <laughs> Should I hire you too? Uh... No, oh, I can't actually, so it's really soon. Occupy. And that should be it, because we just killed another army of theirs. So I'm pretty sure that we'll want to abdicate now. Give me all your land. Good one. Oh, that's very keen on abdicating, apparently. Alright, thanks, Kingdom of Liang, for this we accept. I fucking hope so. No, mo no longer em Emperor, Kingdom of Liang. Shouldn't have been no longer Emperor, Empress, or em Empire of Liang. Anyway, um, secured some commanderies, commandment. Okay, which random armies did we acquire? This one here. Ah, Shu Chu, yes. Yes, Shu Chu, a giant bane and his own armor and a jade snake. I don't know why the hell you have that, so let's take that away from you immediately. I will be using him. I, I could even put him into Lu Bu's army instead of... That random, but I'm not sure. I think it's, he's just going to be leading an, another army at some point. Um, you are level 4, which kind of sucks. I'm also going to quickly do this. No, wait. I was going to do it to someone else. Who was it again? Uh, Zheng Zhang. Yes, to upgrade her once. Yes, we succeeded, and then she can get that, so that now she's a lot faster. That's what I was gonna do. Okay, who are you? Do you have a grudge against me? No. Uh, are you good, though? Do I want to keep you? I very much doubt it. You're disloyal. All right, you're out of here. Uh, you have a piece of gear that I'm gonna take off you beforehand, though. You, are you any good? You're clever, scholarly, modest. You're actually not bad, to be honest, but I have way too many vanguards, so unfortunately for you, you're fired. You do have Qing, Qiang Marauders, but oh well. And Qiang Warriors, but they're actually kind of trash. Yeah, amazing. Although they have... Oh no, sorry, no. I, I was looking at the wrong stats. I thought for some reason they had incredibly overpowered stats, but I was comparing him to them. And I thought, oh wow, they have 207 base melee damage and 708 armor, armor piercing melee damage. That's pretty good. But no. Anyway, you're out of here as well. You are gonna remove some units, and then I'm gonna keep you Chang Po arms. Just worse, right? They're seventy-two bucks. Yeah, they can't be very good. Um, let's remove all the units I would never use in his retinue. Keep the one that I would, although it's a shit one. But he's this level, so there's not much else I can do about that. You can stay in my faction. All right, so let's fire those two people right away, so I don't forget. So that'll be you and you. Yeah. See ya. And see ya. 
We also have oh Hua Lan Li. She's the um, the heir. Sorry, the, the she was the faction leader. She's the wife of Ma Tang. Was the wife of Ma Tang, of course. Uh, any other people in the field? Yes, there's an army here. Oh right, of course, because we 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 had some arm. Well, we knew there when there were some of their armies over towards the east, but I think one of them already is gone because I can't see the other one other than this. Oh my god, it's fucking Han Sui still alive. How old is he? Sixty six. That's actually not that bad. Uh, who are you? Fugan. I think I have another... Uh, several strategists available, so you're not good enough to keep, and you're not good enough to keep either. So... What the fuck is that? Unpredictability. What the heck is going on here? Craft. What the fuck? Why is she different? Is she... Is that because she was starting as a bandit faction or something, or bandit character? She has, like, different stuff. I'm taking these items from you. Um, villainy. Oh, yeah, she must have started as a bandit or something. Interesting. Enables poison arrows for your retinue. Oh, my God, that's so good. That's pretty good. But you're fired. I can't fire you. Oh, right, you're in enemy territory. You fuck. What are you doing? Uh, can I do it from here? I'm out of movement. I can't do it while in... Actually, I, I mean, I own this, so let's just do it here. I don't think I can do an enforced march stance, though. Or I can. Well, isn't that fantastic? Fire you. I fire you. Not not too much uh, min-maxing here, which is good. So Fugan is going to fook off. <laughs> and so is Bing Ping Yang. And then we have Pangda, uh, Shu Chu, and Hua Lan Li left over. Hua Lan Li I might want to use, because she's... I don't think she's unique, but... She is level 4. She's, eh, she's got minus corruption, but no, nah, I think I might fire her. She is reunited with her son, though, which is cool. She's only 43, holy fuck. Anyway, remove that. Remove this. Remove yourself! Uh, from my entire faction. Yeah, you're gonna be... Uh... Oh my gosh, she has fucking brown elite. I just, I didn't, I just kind of skimmed over it. I, I, like, remove, remove this thing, remove that thing, her armor, blah, blah, blah. Alright, send her on her way. She has a fucking brown elite over here. Alright. Not bad. Yeah, she's getting fired as well. Does she have a grudge against me or not? No. So even though her, her former faction... He doesn't have one either. Okay, well, that's pretty good. No one had a fucking grudge against me. It's uh, surprising. Alright, I can't put you in office right now, but you guys are both happy enough anyway, so it's all good. She's a bandit. That's what I fucking said, isn't it, you little bitch? But yeah, thanks. Alright, making 17k income now. Well done. So now we are we're actually really close to to Dare. And all we gotta do is kill a couple of his armies and then annex him. Or abdicate, make him abdicate. 51 point. Okay, that's further away than the other ones, but still. Make him abdicate and then we're done. The only problem being that we're at war with Liu Bei, who could attack us at anywhere, and we wouldn't really be able to do much about it. Um, and I guess also Kong Rong, etc. But they're further away, so it's not as problematic. Uh, you guys are going to keep trucking along, though. You're fucking miles away. Honestly, I really should just remove them and rebuild them. But I also don't really have a need for them yet, so I'm not too fussed about it. Plus, there's only three turns of movement. It looks very far, but they have incredible movement, so... All right, you're going to be leading this army now, so we get more movements. Do I need to put you in normal stance first to do that? No. This general is currently commanding the force. She's not, though, is she? Okay, well, that's a bug I've seen before. Hopefully I can fix it. Uh, hopefully it's fixed next turn. Because otherwise it's going to take a lot longer. Because she now has that. This is the, literally the reason why I made her... There you go, now I can do it. Why I did that. So she could actually give us the buff of movements. Okay, you're going to attack that next turn. I don't even... Like, I can't make... I can't make Liu Bei abdicate or, or, or anything, so I can't piece out of him. So it's not that useful, to be honest, but still. Right, you're on your way. Now we have all the min-maxing to do with the towns, which I could do, but I also could just say I don't care and just not do it. But there are some buildings I probably do want to actually have a look at, to be honest. Um... I guess for I mean these are all like built in a weird way where they've got a little bit of this and a little bit of that um, so I really ought to 
fix them up properly. Like this one's got food stuff and then also income from commerce and income from in commerce and industry. So really I, I should get rid of the food buildings here and build some other stuff, but I don't know if I can be bothered enough to be honest, because I don't think it's gonna matter enough. Um, okay, so, and I have something else to build here because we got 1.1K population. Well, in that case, let's build an in. Okay. Besides that, um, like here again as well, I should probably remove these ones and go for full on food instead. But I just don't, I just don't care enough anymore to actually go around and, and, and fix everything up properly. Properly. But I will spend my money on some other stuff though. Like it's not like money is a problem either. I'll probably build another army next turn as well. In uh, Chang Chang'an, just go east from there. I uh, should probably also have confederated him by now, or sorry, annexed him. But since I now don't need to actually recruit my armies up there anymore, I'm actually going to leave him and just recruit my armies here and then go east. Yang Feng, do I have military access? I do. All right. Well, then I can move for your lands and attack the Kingdom of Song. Fantastic. Um. Yeah, we're still really respected, so that's good. So yeah, I think, yeah, we're just going to run east from here and then just defend. That's the only thing we got to do, just make sure we defend. That's where three of the legendary characters were, of course. So if I do confer uh, or annex him, we actually get those. Oh, there's uh, Liu Bei right there. With Guan Yu and Zhang Liao. Maybe it's time to recruit an army right now, except I can't. Well, I can, I just not, not the characters I wanted to use. Well, I mean, it would be Xu Chu. And Ma Chao will be leading that one, so Ma Chao can go in, and then we can put in his, his army also, Ji Miao. Meow. So it actually works out alright. I know we'll recruit Xu Chu in there next turn. Oh fuck, there's two armies. Okay, this is becoming slightly scary. But so be it. Good thing I kept some money left over. Ah, oh, you're a level 1. That's pretty shit. I can't recruit the right units here. Um... Well, just go for some crossbows then. Back to the crossbows. It actually sucks because I was kind of uh, assuming I was going to be able to have full units here. Like if you recruit the mercenary units, of course they start off as full. Ah, oh, you aren't high level enough either. Damn. Uh, I guess we'll just get the handmaid's guard then. No, you're not fucking. Let's just get the mounted militia. Oh god, this is actually kind of a shit army here except for those ones. Once Shu Chu comes in, though. Well, Shu Chu can't actually recruit the high tier units either. Oh boy. This is going to be a bit awkward, actually. As it turns out. Start upgrading that as well. Okay, right. Well, we should probably still be okay. Oh, and there's fucking Zhuge Liang there. <laughs> Those are some great armies right there. I'd love to have them. But I don't. Vassalized Shu Huang? Who the fuck is that? What is a Shu Huang? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Who are you talking about? Oh, Vassalized Yang Feng, sorry. I misread those ones. He has Shu Huang. Who the fuck is Shu Huang? I have Shu Huang? Who the hell? Uh, anyway, you said Vassalized Yang Feng. Yang Feng. Or Yang Feng is the big one up here, I'm assuming. Yes. Oh, and he has several factions. I mean, it's not even that bad. <laughs> I could make that happen easily. And then his two vassals would be freed up. Gong Sundu and Gong Shu Lan Ting. Uh, that's actually pretty... Oh wow, he really wants to be part of my empire. Sure, I'll do that instead. I have the best empire. Can I ask your vassals to join my empire as well? No. Do you want to be part... Can I ask you to join my empire? Like, you are my vassal, but no. Um, who else could I ask? You want to join my empire? Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Kong Sanzan already is, and no one else I can actually invite, so... Well, I mean, that's good. We got another empire joinee. Cool. We definitely have our 95 regions already, including all the vassals regions. We're on 68 ourselves, and there's a whole bunch of vassal ones, so... We have enough regions already for sure. We just gotta make him abdicate and that's it. There's an army over there as well. Okay, well, um, there's also him. 
it doesn't really matter. I mean, honestly, I'm not, I'm not worried about this situation. I'm more worried about this here. That's kind of scary. I have no armies nearby. I could make more, of course. It's not really a problem, but... Anyway, time to end our turn. Oh, shit, we didn't have trade? Oh. Uh. No, because we couldn't. But now we can, because we have bordering areas. You know what, buddy? <laughs> I'll do it for free. Have you got any ancillaries, perhaps? Um, I could actually do with this. If you would really be willing to give me that, I'll, I'll pay you for that. What do you say? What do you say, friend? We need some food? Oh, here you go. Here's some food for you. Uh, I'll give you whatever you need. Actually, you know what? Take it. I'll bring you out of food deficit. I'll give you some extra food. Fuck it. I'm a, I'm a generous leader. Sweet. You can actually give that to someone, so that's not too bad. Oh, now he's like, oh, thanks for the food, mate. I'll, I'll defend your lands after all, as it turns out. Give him 23. How much did I give him? Oh, shit, another Lubu army. Leah Bay. Oh, my God. Okay. Actually, we have armies on the way to there that aren't too far off, but still. Slight, slightly scary, the amount of armies that were there. Is he or the Yellow Turbans? Did that Yellow Turban army actually kill... Or, just, or at least partially wounded army. This one here. Did they just fight? I have no idea. An exquisite weapon. Uh, oh. Ooh. Sovereign of Blades. Oh, and oh. That's some lovely items for that person in Lubu's army. Here's um, the chess piece, first and foremost. We also have a horse for someone. Anyone in need of a horse? I got some horses. Oh, I got loads of shit I need to give out, actually. I totally forgot about that. Including... Okay, hold on. Let's start with this stuff here. So, Lady Wu, you're going to get this book. Because that's... Sorry, faction-wide income. Uh, one of my... Okay, I haven't actually equipped you yet properly, have I? I have no horse for you. A horse, a horse. Wait, hold on. Who the fuck is this? Oh man, I recruited him here ages ago to go take those towns, and then I never did. What the? F He's been there for a long, like since the last, the beginning, the end of the last stream. I'm pretty sure I put him there. This whole stream is was sitting there doing nothing. All right, so you need to get some gear then. Not that I have. Oh, I have a shirt for you. Here you go. Um. Okay, and then we'll recruit shoot you in here. For sure. Nice, he's liked as well by both. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, we'll quickly make you the leader, and then you the leader. I'm, c I'm half tempted to make this army uh, full of protectors of heaven, just to have a really, really solid army here. I won't be as... I will be kind of vulnerable to ranged, but at least I won't have shitty spear guards against all those insane units that we're about to fight. So this will make this a stupendously good army. Like, good and bad at the same time. Alright, so equipment to you. You're gonna get that horse, I think. There you go. And then I don't have anything specifically good for you here, just some small resolve, but... Who am I gonna give that to? Do I give that to you? For some extra cunning? Actually, no, I'll just give that one to you. I give it all up for you. Um, then... We have the sword to give out, right? So that's I got several choices there. You've already got legendary swords. You've already got legendary sword. Well, in that case, the several choices become one choice, I think, because you're not even in an army, are you? Oh no, you are. Yeah, you're in this army here. Yeah, this random fucking fish. Maybe you're gonna get this as well, and then you're gonna get the six sword here. Perfection. What's that? Spirit of the first artist. It's a legendary piece of gear. Terrible anyway. Plus two. Oh, actually, no. For the, it's for the retinue. It's okay. It's not great though. Okay. So now you're pretty damn good as well. Then what else have I got? Because I've still got loads of things here to give out. Although nothing. Yeah, nothing too crazy anymore actually. Ma Chao, you already got a pig. Yeah. Han Dang doesn't need anything. Sun Wen, you've got the bow. You've got. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're actually good now. Okay. Tons of buildings have been built. That's all fine. All right, so the army over here is getting replenished. It'll probably be okay. Let's upgrade this as well, just to get a better garrison. I'll, I'll fix that right away, so it's going to start replenishing those extra units right away. Unless we get besieged, of course, which might happen, but... Oh well. 
Shu Chu can use the horse. Oh, I got it. Tai Chi Chi's sword isn't good for him, though. It has extra cunning and resolve. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, who can? Who else can use that, though? Because, I mean, who else would I want to give it to? Like, Zhang Zhang has already good we got good weapons. You've got, I guess, him. Can he even use swords? No, he can't, so it's not relevant for him. And I wouldn't give it to someone with cunning, because it's a massive waste. Ugh, my girlfriend's here, I gotta open the door real quick. Turned. Fuck the chair stream. Alright. Um, See, so yeah, I don't, I don't want to give it to a, uh, a strategist because I feel like it's just a massive waste. And I don't think any of the... Can he use swords? No, he can't. He's already got this giant bane anyway, so... Uh, right, I need to give you something. So I guess that's just going to be some extra resolve, I guess. I can give it some damage. Yeah, let's give him the damage instead. Okay, so that's that army. Now, let's move down, or move up even, some armies, because we have an enemy army there. It's a bit scary, so you're going to have to go this way. Be slightly diverted. Fuck me, you've got to move for days, though. That's good shit. I mean, we have that 40% extra campaign movement range, to be fair. Uh, you are going to go this way, then, instead. And then... You're going to go take this real quick. Oh. Oh my god, that mission. <laughs> Did not expect that to ever occur. I really should do... Actually, no, I can't do new missions anymore, so never mind. That's totally fine. Are right, you going to take that. Uh, yeah, just dedicate that. Occupy that. Okay. Got a level up on Sun Tzu. Not bad. Oh, wow, he didn't have reach yet. Okay, so he's going to start speeding up a little bit as well. That was ridiculous. How did he not reach yet? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so I did want to recruit another army, but now that I have soon, uh, like, these people recruited here, I probably don't have enough cool characters to recruit, so I might not. Uh, I am going to start sprinting you guys towards the east, though. As fast as your legs can carry you. Don't know exactly how we're going to do this. All we got to do is kill armies. I don't have to take any of his towns, really. I just got to kill his armies. So just go towards the armies. And hope we can face them. In the field of battle. Um, and then that's just... Yeah, just got to kill some armies, make him abdicate, and that'll, that'll be that. I'm only, like, 80 minutes into the stream, so I probably can't finish it this, this, camp, uh, this uh, stream as well. Uh, what else we got? Uh, have I asked you to join my war? Would you like to? Uh, you have already, because otherwise I'd be able to ask you. Okay. Uh, oh, we can do more trade. If you... Well, it's either that or leave you there and not kill... Yeah, yeah I was going to say or kill you, but I'm not going to kill her, so... Sure. You know what? I think I'm... Willing to do it for free, unless you have an ancillary, but you don't. Um, limitary access... Oh wow, she actually wants that. Yeah, sure, we'll not kill you. You're on the border of Leah Bay, so that could be good. Are you at war with Leah Bay? You are. Well, you might die soon, but that's okay. We have lots of other things I can do, military access, etc. I, I don't really care about the money anymore. We have plenty of income right now, so it's not like I need to ask for anything. Uh, I see, hold on, copper one, yes. So let's do this. And then insta finish that. There we go. Went from 19k to 21k. So that's good. Very good. That was definitely worth upgrading instantly. 
Uh, and then we're gonna go for the in here. This place I've not fucking done anything in yet. Let's upgrade some stuff. Uh, sure. Sure. And then we have one more downgrade there, and then this is gonna be food. Food! Oh, that's that actually. Alright. Almost all of our money spent. So what we were do what were we, what, what, what what, what, what were we doing here? Um, I think, I mean, we, the last thing we picked up was this, I think. So I could go for more of that, but I'm not too fussed about upgrading the buildings anymore, to, to be honest. Um, I guess I could have gone for this, but character salary is not really going to make much of a dent anymore in our income right now. I could go for more food, but our food is way up anyway, so it's not really oh, relevant please. either. I could go for, I think it's this one, yeah, 10% replenishment, but I need to pick up three other ones before that even happens. Honestly, the campaign might be over before I get there. It wouldn't surprise me. So I think anything that just increases our income by a bunch, like 10% income from industry or 15% income from commerce, is probably the best we can do here. Character experience is okay. 30% income from commerce is pretty big. I mean, that might be the one I'll pick up just because it's 30%. I don't know if it's going to do much, but fuck it. Yeah, it's 20k, 22k now, so it's, it's alright. At the very least, it's okay. What the fuck is this place? Have I not even looked, I haven't even looked at this place yet. I thought I checked out all the towns around here, but I guess not this one. Um, so that should be converted over, because it's going for income. I don't want the school building here. That one's fine, actually, so yeah, it's gotta convert that one and replace this one. That's totally fine. Alright, so we've got three armies on the way there. Um... And then we have this army, which is kind of just going to go through Leah Bay's town, just to or, yeah, just to weaken him a little bit. You're going to be defending, and you guys are going to be defending after all as well, I think, for now anyway. Again, all we got to do is just defend a little while, and then make him abdicate, and then that's it. That'll finish the campaign, because I'm pretty sure that'll piece us out with all of his vassals as well. Which means we end up in a very nice spot. And not only a spot of bother. Um... I have a couple of people that are unhappy still. Like you. I don't know why you're unhappy. This isn't going to do anything either for you, to be honest. Why are you unhappy? Lack of purpose. Well, that's going away now because it's not an army. Ancillaries from people in power. Oh, right. The uh, minus 10 satisfaction we have from the eunuch. Oh, well. Oh, well. He just... Hansui just murdered an army there. What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm going to have to go send an army up there now. That's kind of awkward. Oh my god, it's the pirate guy over there. What the f- Oh my goodness, there's so many armies coming. <laughs> it's actually a little bit terrifying how many armies are on the way to attack us right now. Did he just- Ugh, I wasn't paying attention, but they just got rid of an army, didn't they? I'm pretty sure they did. Book of Songs. Alright. Ambush from Hansui was discovered. You fool. You think you could ambush me? Oh wow, they're taking attrition. Um, right, convert that over now. Then that's going to be military infrastructure. That still needs to be converted, but I'm not in a rush. We're making so much money now that's just yeah, not a problem anymore at all. Uh, upgrade stats. Upgrade this. I think I'm going to build another army this turn as well. I don't know who is going to go in that. If I even have any characters left over, really. But uh, I'm still going to try and do it anyway. Okay. I also have a lot of expertise again. So the next bunch is going to you. You should be level 8 now. Yes. Which makes uh, our income go up a little bit more. But it doesn't really show. Uh, yeah, definitely that way. Because now we have minus 3% corruption. So it's an extra 1% corruption and 5% income from all sources. But it doesn't make... Enough. Oh no, there we go. From 23 to 24k. There you go. Did something. Um, his name is Gunning. Yeah, that, that's the one I meant. Pirate Boy. So that's the army that was fucked, I guess, because I saw two armies here. One of them was led by Pirate Boy. Unless he went further this way, and I just don't see him anymore, but I don't think so. Uh, did you guys do anything, or are you just hanging around the water? I guess you're just going for a swim. That's fine by me. Okay, so you are... The longer they take to do anything, the more time I have to get into a proper position to defend myself, so that's all fine. You're going to keep going this way as well. 
Uh, and you're gonna go, because there's this dickhead as well now. Who could go this way, which would be pretty annoying, but if I run around that way, it's gonna take me a long time to do so. Whereas if I seal there, pretty sure I can get there, like, right now. Uh, yeah, I'd be willing to get caught in the water, I think. Doubt this army would ever lose in the water. If, you know, worst case scenario, I guess I could, no, I couldn't have landed there, so, no, would have been bad, but it's okay. Unless there's another army there, we'll be fine. And we're not on force march, so we can always sprint away. Right, so someone is going to have to go this way to stop this dickhead from being annoying, so let's have you do that. Ugh. That, I thought I had her selected, but okay, never mind. It's gonna be him then that does that. Um, we have movement, <laughs> so much movement. It's incredible the amount of movement we have. It's pretty good. Uh, I can actually, yeah, I can do this without even going into the water. All right, so you're gonna go there. Oh shit, nope. Okay, yep, I almost messed that up royally. Okay, they couldn't have reached her anyway, actually, so. Yeah, make your way across. I uh, didn't. I forgot she was still in force march stance. Okay, can you sail up a little bit further without getting into range of him? That should be fine. Yeah, he won't be able to reach. Okay, sucks that I have to use Lubu for that. Oh, Kong Rong owns towns over here. What the fuck? Well, I guess we can take those on the way as well. I was gonna send her after that and then Lubu east, but no. Oh. Speaking of Lubu, uh, go this way. Do you have? No, he doesn't have reach. Right, I thought so because his movement seemed a little bit low compared to her. So she, he actually doesn't have reach yet, which is kind of ridiculous. I may have to upgrade him next, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so that's all the armies moved then, isn't it? Uh, I did say I was going to recruit another army, and I am seriously considering doing that. I don't think I need any army anywhere particular, like any anywhere specifically. So maybe I'll hold off for now, because as long as I don't see a threat coming, I don't really have a, a need to recruit another army for now. I buy this DLC after one month. You should use the link in the description to get it cheaper. And uh, if you use this code SWARDONKEY at checkout, you get even cheaper than it already is. It's already discounted. It's uh, a link to Two Game, which is an official retailer that I am affiliated with. Right. Enough self-advertisement. Do I just save my money? Because it doesn't look like I really have much to build right now, to be honest. Nothing that really does anything for me anyway. I can get more food, but we're stuck on stupendous amounts of food already, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I guess what I'll do is that, and then that. Just uh, not forget about that next turn. Alright. End this turn. Oh, there's Gunning. Oh, they are fighting, but they lost that battle. Although I'm pretty sure they're losing men. Does Donkey Link support pay safe card? I have no idea. You'd have to check that out. Can't say I've ever used a pay safe card before. So I don't even know what it does. Another uh, child for Ma Chao and Sun Wen. The patient tactician, Pong De. Right, Pong De would definitely go in the next army, that's for sure. Fucking commanders. All over the shop. What I should do actually is because that's one of the things I need to do for one of those, the, like the most difficult one. Um, it's the bottom one, the Road to Emperorship. We need to have a rank nine capital. Uh, we need to have cap uh, capture ten regions that have access has access to the Yellow River. Okay, that's going to be difficult. And twenty five regions north of the Yangtze River. I kind of wish it tells me how many I have, but yeah, like I was thinking the capital one is easy enough to do, we could easily do that, but it doesn't really matter. Plus the rewards are completely pointless, because we don't need prestige anymore, we don't need reckless luck per turn anymore, because we already maxed out anyway. Or, well, we're on plus one per turn, which means we're never going to have any issues. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Where is Anding? That's over here. Let's do uh, land developments. Right, let me have a look here. So, first of all, I'm going to try and get him to level 10. I very much doubt one thing is going to make me, yeah, no, make me get there, but still, yeah, still 40,000 XP away, because then we can get reach, which would be very good, but it's level 10, so it's, yeah, 
Anyway, you're gonna keep trucking along and attack attack that army soon. Before it becomes annoying. Uh, you are gonna possibly attack an Oh, you seem to have killed an army, I think. Not bad. Unless they fucked up. Are you at war? It should be. You are at war with them, aren't you? Uh, no, you're not. Okay, so I don't know where that army from Hansui went, but it's somewhere. Um, wow, that movement is horrible. Why can't we? We can we can barely move at all. Okay, just go there. Um, then we have you still following up as well. You're gonna jump into the water here. No, you're not. Just gonna run on, on land. Apparently, it's faster. Okay. Then. You guys are still sitting back here. I mean, I'm not in a rush to attack him, to be honest, so I'm totally okay with this for now. Um, and you are going to be just following that army along our, our side of the coast. And then you are going to still go up this way in case his armies come back. And you... Oh, is he following us? I wonder if he's joining us here. I can attack this town right away, I think, but... I'm going to siege him out for sure, because that's not a good situation to be in. If they sally out, it'll be fine, though. But I'll siege them out and see if my ally joins me there. If there's any space to land the army, which I honestly... Difficult to fucking say. Uh, build some buildings, shall we? Yes, we shall. Let's do that. That's still That place hasn't got one million population, which is kind of sad, because it's... Very heavily upgraded. Level 7, but it's somehow doesn't have a million population. Otherwise, we could build two things at once. Uh, that one. And... I don't know. This one, I guess. Doesn't matter. And upgrade that. Alright. 25 grand income. I really need to build another army. Once I... I think that's what I'll do. Once I take a town here, any town, I'll build an army there. So I can easily, more easily go on the offensive from there. Hey, Justine. Are you going to do a 24 hour stream or do a whole campaign in one go? Uh, I, I do want to do a 24 hour stream at some point, but I'm not sure when. And I don't know if it's going to be this week, this month, this year even. Like, I, I don't know. I, I have no concise plans for it right now. Um, and if I did, it probably wouldn't be uh, any Total War game. It would be like indie games and stuff that I can just pick up and put down again. Uh, okay. I could upgrade this for a better garrison. You know what? Get it done. Instantly do it, just because I really don't care about the money anymore. In fact, no, no, that's not. I was going to say, I should do that to all the buildings, just upgrade everything instantly, but there's really no reason to do that. That would be stupid. Um, yeah, all right. Fucking end this turn. Where are you going? You're going to get yourself killed if you go that way. Ooh. Armies are on the move. All right, I'm assuming Lubu will be able to catch that army because we have the extra movement stuff. Although we don't have the extra movement from his army himself, so I don't know. All right, one army has moved away from there. The one led by Zhang Fei. So we might be able to just attack Liu Bei in the water there and just insta win it. Duchy of Zhang signed peace of Gongs and Zan. Oh. Uh, okay. Ren Chi, no thanks. Forced Iron Skill, no thanks. No thanks. No thanks. You know what? Actually, I do know who would lead the next army if I were to build one. It'd be the guy who's been in our faction since almost the beginning and has never been used. Zhu Tai. And then he would have Pang De with him and then I just need to recruit a strategist. I could actually just take Zhang Zhao out of that army. Just bring him back to my faction and then put him in that army as well. I mean, that actually might be what I'll do. Um... So there, he'll never be leading an army together with Zhang Hong, but fuck it. It's just too it's just a sh a too shit of an ability for two strategists to have. Or for the downside of having to have two strategists in a single army. It just isn't good enough. Right, you're going to go uh, across the river here, to be honest. Because if they're not going to come and attack us, let's jump in the water first. The land. Yeah, let's go and attack that. If it's not currently... Yeah, it's under siege. Okay. Uh, you've won past, but we're sieging that out, so that's fine. You can attack this army in the fields. Oh, there's Hansui. You can also attack this, but that's going to be a full stack plus the garrison. And that's a decent army with a bunch of defenders of Hebei. Hebei? 
a B. This army's not bad, but it's not as experienced as some of the other armies we have, so maybe not. You are gonna chase this guy. Can't quite reach right now, but we're just gonna chase him indefinitely. So it sucks that we have to use Lu Bu for that, especially because he doesn't have the extra movement stuff, but oh well. We're gonna jump across and then do some stuff with you soon. Then here, I think we are gonna attack Liu Bei in the water, because that should be in our favor, right? Yes, he fled. We attack him again. Sorry, Liu Bei. Make it a night battle. Get him out of here. Oh, they were taking attrition already as well. Did we capture any? Got any weapons? We got a book. We got... Oh, the green dragon crushing blade. Oh, and the swords as well. Oh, and we captured Liu Bei. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. What have you got for me? A Forge Master. Oh, that's pretty solid, that is. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill him, though. I'll let him go. I'm not even gonna ask the audience this time, because I know that's gonna be a bad thing to do. Um, anyway... Would you like a Korean Dragon Crescion Blade? That's actually pretty good for uh, Vanguard as well. Um, I mean, I kinda wanna give it to him, just because he's the one who did it, but on the other hand, I really ought to give it to Sun Tse, right? I mean, come on. Here you go. New legendary item. Uh, and then we got some swords. Sun Chuan? Yeah. I mean, it only makes sense, right? Give the two... I, I mean, there's probably, there might be someone else out there who this is better for. Resolve Instinct of Fortune. I didn't even give... I didn't even think about it. I just feel like it makes sense on him. Because we give the older brother Guan Yu's weapon. We give the younger brother Liu Bei's weapon. If we get Zhang Fei's weapon, we'll give that one to uh, Sun Wen. That would actually make total sense. That'd be so cool. Uh, you got a level up. Passion. Yeah. Kill him. Kill him now. Do it. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Again, you forgot to move Hondo. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I could do it now. Now that I have, like, infinite money. I didn't really forget about him. I kind of left him there because I didn't care anymore. But um, I guess now that I have a ton of money, I can just do this. No reason not to. Oh, a local hero. Some random dude was recruited. Great. Who's a random dude? Is he a strategist? Nope, he's not. Is he fired? Yes, he is. <laughs> See you later, random local hero. You can stay local, <laughs> as it turns out. Um, Alright, and then we got that one level up on Pay You One Show. He's actually starting to become very pissed off being in this faction. You desire higher... Okay, well, we can give you a higher core position. That's fine. Um... You can plus one assign. No, let's get the diplomatic relations. There we go. All right. Oh, what a list of items to acquire in a turn. We also got the six secret teachings, which is not bad. Um, you can get that one then. Oh, you already have something good. Well, never mind. You can't get shit, you little fuck. Right. I think it's time. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm gonna have to get you out of there. Extract him. And I'm assuming we can use them next turn. Uh, I'm assuming it's not a declaration of war. No, it's not. Okay, thank fuck for that. That would have been really bad. If that was considered a dec declaration of war. War. War never changes. Changes. What is Kong Rong himself right there? Uh, I wonder which... I guess he might... Yeah, he wasn't army, wasn't he? Okay, so he's available next turn, I'm assuming. Preparing to return. Yes. Yeesh. Okay, cool. So I think next turn we'll recruit an army. Uh, so you're back in here. Zhang Fei feeling very sad that he just left his, uh, his master there. Or, sorry, not his master, his brother. Brother! Um, I guess you just kind of head towards this fishing board. I don't know where... Oh, there it is. Okay, I was going to say, I don't know where he went. And then you've already moved. You're still sieging out. You guys have all moved already as well. There's someone who hasn't moved yet, though. Soon when? Yes, okay, right. So that's the one where we need to make a decision right now. I think I'm going to kill this army. Uh, it was very close before to have you join my empire. What do you say now? Oh, it's gone way worse. Okay, I don't know what the fuck changed, but there you go. Are we still friends? Kind of. You want to be my vassal? I can make it happen. Possibly without even guarantee. Oh. One town. Which one is that? Janya City. Is that that one? Yeah. No, I wouldn't want to do that. I could probably get there anyway, but I don't think I care enough. What else have we got? Um, 
Hu Mao, you know you can join my empire, right? Oh wow, that's sorry for even su suggesting it. Can you join the empire? Oh, they can. The Yellow Turn Rebellion. Oh, I totally fucking do it if I could. Your allies are a major threat to us. Look, if you join my empire, then we, you won't be at war with them anymore. Wait, who even are you talking about? These are not. None of these are my allies, are they? What? Oh wait, hold on. Gong Sun Du. Uh, young is Young Feng in there? It'd be Young. F yes. Okay, it's Young Feng. There you go. Okay, fine. Don't join then. See if I care. Come here. Is he gonna annex the South Tower or not? I was going to, but it's oh wow, pure victory. Uh, it doesn't seem worth it anymore. I, I get some cool characters and everything, but I'd also have a lot of stuff to ma manage, which I don't want to do. I just want to finish off the campaign because we're so close to doing so. Um, so yeah, I, I figured it isn't worth doing anymore because it's just there's too much stuff to it. And um, the reason I initially wanted to is because it gives me a foothold near the Kingdom of Song so that I could recruit my armies there, but I already have that now. I don't need to be any closer. There's a lot of Warriors of Yi in there. Holy shit. Alright, it's, uh, it's been a while since we had an actual normal field battle, but here we are. Pretty decent army though, nothing too crazy, but... It's okay. How much cav have they got? Four units? Four ruddy units! Alright, fine, let's go a little bit more towards the flank then. Okay. We have Heartseeker as well, which I almost forgot about again, so I'm going to be using that for sure. And put this fire up here, because why not? Okay, soon when go and run over there. Kill some people, some Heartseeking. Oh, they're all Oofsworn, okay. Who is going to be the easiest to kill? Probably the uh, Sentinel. We also just have a bow of her, so we can just shoot for a little while if we wanted to. No, thank you. Ugh. I don't want to sh- oh, they're in yeah, they're in force marks, that's good. Are they going to be annoying? I don't really want to fire at them, to be honest. What's the range on this? Oh, it's that, apparently. She's going to miss, isn't she? Oh, she's standing almost still, though. Do it now. You might actually... Stop! The amount of shuffling. Nice. That's a good hit. Minus 28 morale. Good stuff. The cooldown on that being only 15 seconds is kind of ridiculous as well, to be honest. Okay, wait right there. Shoot Shin Ping as well. No, 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 What are you doing? There was a fucking stump in the way, wasn't there? I saw that. That fucking thing ruined everything. All right, you can go on fire will again. Are you shuffling? Are you shooting? There he goes. When I say there he goes, I meant the arrow, not her, because she is a female, of course. Wasn't a very uh, a lot of damage there, by the way. A bit disappointed by that. Why I made no comments. Alright, let's fire the last arrow at the other one. Let's go here so I don't shoot the fucking stump right there. He has less range protection. Same amount of armor, though. She's actually come back, so I could have shot at her, but. Yeah. Disappointing, but it's alright. Isai. This army will run away, and I don't think I'll be able to reach it again, to be honest, if it does, but it's okay. Also, I should have changed this a little bit more. Let's put one of you guys on fire. Never mind. We're not going to use fire arrows, as it turns out. I've decided no fire arrows today. I'm also going to fire you at one of these units in the middle here. Uh, no, I think we're good. Although you are level 7, I mean, you ought to be able to win against this Chen Lung fella, right? 
Uh, let's hold on for a second. I could always check later. 56. What is your ability? Range protection. Okay, we got that one at least. He's got... Nah, yeah, we definitely destroy him. Okay, if he duels, if he ex asks again, we'll take it. What about the other guy? Yeah, we're like better in every way against both of them. Should be alright. Definitely a lot better against this guy, though. This one actually has a bunch more damage, so yeah, let's, let's decline this one and then accept it against Shenlong first. Hello. Enemy cavalry. Okay, there we go. We'll accept that one. Plus, we have uh, this ability, but I'll let this duel go as it as it is. And then I'll accept the... Or I'll, I'll use this ability against the second... Or in the second duel. Which will be which will be tougher. Heartseeker doesn't look that good now that I know that Halo of Arrows can one-shot almost any general. True, although Halo of Arrows has also been nerfed to... Four uses, or three uses, was it? I can't remember. So, in fairness. Oh, we should burn this right now. Oh no, someone's done it! Oh, this is gonna be a crazy duel. Can you imagine this shit? In the middle of the fire. Holy hill burning all around them. Pretty sick, but I need some fucking... I need to look at my actual battle. Okay, they charged into there, and that's all good. Did any calf try and sneak it late? No, they didn't. That's good. The fire is probably hurting me more than anything else here, to be honest. Okay, go kill him. That's a sick jewel right there. It's over Lu Meng. I have the high ground. It's over Lu Meng. You're on fire. More accurate. Epic. It's almost over. Ooh, this guy doesn't even require a fucking jewel. He's getting wrecked. Right, there goes he. Why don't you go chase off some of the stuff here? Oh, she's gone. Oh, fuck. Right. They were oath sworn. I totally forgot about that. Doesn't want a jewel. You son of a bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't have to jewel me. Alright, let's just do this here then. As that hits, that should have hit then. Yeah, he's low. Couple slaps and he's gone. Couple slapperoonies. And he'll be fucked, right? Oh, I didn't even use the charges here. I had so many opportun good opportunities for charges there, and I didn't even get to. How very sad. Don't charge a spear unit. That would just be fucking dumb. Lu Meng burns the shit and becomes Darf Lu. There goes that guy. Yeah, just kill him off if you can. And if you can't, uh, I will forever banish you from my kingdom. Empire. Uh, why have we not won yet? Nice, you did it. You will not be banished from my kingdom after all. Alright, hopefully we can kill off everything. Or reach the army again, which we might be able to, because we can move very far with her. I'm not sure how much movement we used to get here, though. That was a nice, clean victory. I like that. She's going to get away, though, isn't she? So, Although that map goes on for very long. They're gone. Go over here. They're not quite yet gone. What are you doing? Dude! You just slaughtered, like, a general and then a bunch of other stuff, and I can't... Oh my god, I spent way too long looking at that. Ridiculous. Go over here and kill that. I think the lady got away. Have you done it yet? 17, yes you have. Uh, they're gone already. That unit's gone now. What the fuck's my trebuchet doing? I must not have realized. I left it on attack mode. Alright, we're gonna have killed almost everything. Hopefully we can reach... ...the remainder. And if not, most of the army's gone, so it's okay. Has this taken over uh, Shogutu's your favorite Total War? Oh yeah, months ago. <laughs> A long time ago it took over as my favorite Total War game. Okay, they're gone. That's the final unit. Uh, does Lu Meng's son... Does Lu Meng Song will join the Yellow Term Rebellion, though? What the hell kind of grammar is that, Virgil... Gwyns? Does the fire hurt them? I would assume so. It didn't seem too bothered by it. But I, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's damage on the general. It's not going to be that high anyway. Uh, that's actually pretty good, but I will release you. And... Oh... Honest, almost makes him more recruiting, but... Uh, 
Uh, just take the replenishment. Okay, they did survive. We already knew that. Can we reach? No, we definitely can't. We can only move like one step, or if that. Right, how close are we to making you have the cake? Because it was 40 point summing, so it's not. Okay, 34.6. So a couple more armies gone, and that'll be that. There's one right here we can kill. There's obviously the main one right there. There's this one here. There's that one there. And if we just take a couple of towns, I'm not sure if taking their vassals towns is going to help, but it might do. Either way, I think it's time to end this turn. I really am just going to probably rush through battles now and just complete the campaign. I do wonder also if their strength weakens overall, if that helps too. I would imagine so. Like if someone else kills one of their armies, but not me. Oof, is he going? Oh, he's into ambush stands there. Definitely got to remember that one. Unless I discover him, which would be very nice. Unfortunately, uh, Yuan Shu is kind of going on a rampage here as well. Taking out armies and towns that I wanted to take. Oh, did he just escape out of the fucking town? Uh, we're in an empire together. Apparently we don't have military access. Sure, you can have some military access, friend. I kind of assumed I already had that. I think I may have been trespassing up until now. I assumed that when they joined the Empire, that would be that, but apparently not. Alright. Um, okay. We didn't discover the ambush, so there's an ambush here that we can't obviously run into. What if I... What if I fight ambush with ambush? Uh, we could actually reach Hanei. Level 7 town, what's the garrison like? Not very strong. Alright, we might just take that instantly, because there's nothing else we can reach here. Except for that town. But, no, we'll take this main main, main place. Main, main, main place. Oh, wow, Southside just realizes up here as well. Owns one of the towns. I don't know why I'm doing that, I'm going to take this immediately. I'll fight this manually. It's annoying that I have to do that every time, because these battles are super simple, but... They just take time. What the fuck is the Oh, that, that's this place. It's like, what the hell is this level 1 town? How did I not upgrade that before? But, there you go. Question answered. I don't think I've ever built this building before, by the way. Because I'm pretty sure I unlocked that. Um, with the, la the last tech that I got. Did I get everything? Nope. Not that it matters. Okay. Uh, they've gone this way now. How oh, inconvenient. The chase continues. Um, so yeah, once we've taken this place, I can recruit another army here. It's a bit risky though, because we're right next to Kongrong, we could perhaps do a night battle against us. I might want to wait a couple turns before doing that. Then I saw, what's his face, uh, Zhang Fei around here somewhere, but that's okay. And you're going to follow this guy again. This way. And you, the yellow terms have taken this now, so I guess we're not going to take that anymore. You're going to go take this livestock farm instead. And then this army from here is fucked off and actually managed to sail all the way over there. It is taking attrition though. And it doesn't look to be going for my iron mine, so hopefully that will work out alright. They've not taken attrition, I guess, no. So I, I probably have to fight this one manually as well, but I really can't be bothered, so let's just delegate this. I think you need to four to five armies out if you want to abdicate a donkey. Surely the most important, that means you want to... Uh, I doubt it, it really doesn't matter which one it is, but... A couple more, for sure. Uh, demolish that. I, I don't know why I care. I really don't. Um, okay. I was gonna do this on Lubu. Unless I really... No, it doesn't matter. Just do it. He's not gonna get to level 10 anytime soon, though. Hopefully someone stops him, because I could recruit something to stop him, but I feel like it's gonna work out okay. If he does go for this town, though, it has a pretty sizable garrison. Honestly, a, a, just a normal, like, one or two characters could probably hold it. So let's just put you in there. Actually, let's put Lady, Lady Wu in there. Give her a use, finally. And then you can use uh, Pei Yuan Shao. Why not? There you go. That'll, that'll do. Okay. Um, so we got that battle there still. Still giving chase. Let's see how close we are now. 31.9. Yeah, let's go take the main town. Wait, hold on. 
I totally forgot about this, but I just I have to take their capital, don't I? I don't actually have to make them abdicate. That's actually not even that far away, although it's probably quite difficult either way. But I, I could technically just go for the capital, and that would be good enough, I'm pretty sure. If we have the 95 regions, which I'm pretty sure we do. Anyway, um, yeah, let's fight it manually. Do you think 3K is a good Total War game to cut my teeth on, or do you have a different recommendation? Probably the video for Total War. Oh, then I can finally reveal yeah, the new DLC for Warhammer 2. Grok, I think his name is, and the uh, High Elf guy. I've, I've, I've seen a bunch of... Well, I, I mean, I've had access for a week, but I haven't even started the game up yet. I just don't care enough. Um, but yeah, if, for a recommendation, I would probably recommend Shogun 2 as your starting Total War game. But honestly, it's it's totally up to you. You could start with Free Kingdoms as well, but it's just, it's probably a little bit more difficult to get into than Shogun 2 would be. Um, I want to attack on a corner bit, but eh, fuck it, just attack over here again. It doesn't really matter. No fire arrows on you, though. But yeah, new uh, new warm. I mean, everyone already guessed it. New warm or DLC. Um, but I haven't even I haven't even played it yet. I'm allowed to do a video on it tomorrow if I wanted to, which I don't. Elysium on the other on the other hand, though, when I am allowed to do stuff on that, I'll be playing it very much, I think. But I'm not allowed to talk about that yet, for sure. Alright, another hole, please. I both just suck. Figured I'd ask where I should start so I cannot suck as badly. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I'd say Shogun 2 is easier to understand, easier to get into. But, I mean, just the only way to learn something is by doing it, right? The only the only way to learn something is by, is by actually trying it. You can't expect to be a pro at something um, when you first start it. So just, you know... Just play, just have some fun, enjoy. Um, I want to run in right now, but I feel like that's probably getting myself killed for no reason. I really don't want to blow a hole in this wall anymore. Hey man, watched your 2016 for Shogun 2, but after some time I stopped watching. Are you liking this new Total War game? New? <laughs> It's it's almost exactly a year old now. It's actually it's like two weeks from now, so it's a year old. Um, can you give a summary of this game? Yeah, it's my favorite Total War game. Prefer Shogun 2 battles. That's um I keep saying that actually, but honestly, kind of what I should say is I prefer Shogun 2's balance because actually battle wise, like freak like Shogun 2 battles are better simply because the balance is better. That's the main thing. But yeah, summary. It's it's a uh, it's a Total War game. In China, I don't I don't know what else specifically you'd like to know. Anything? Yeah, it's ask me something specific and I'll answer it. But I have very I I'm I, my, I'm not very creative. So if, when someone asks me, can you give me a, a rundown or something? I'm like, I can't because I'm really bad at that kind of thing. Anyway, let's just get you guys up here. Can we destroy that one? Yes, we can. Perfect. Now we get the archers up, blow them all away. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not against you, by the way, uh, Callum. I'm just saying, like, from now on, when when someone asks me, I will say that instead. Because I, I thought about it, and honestly, it's not that Shogun 2's battles are just so much better. It's that the balance in Shogun 2 is so much better. Alright, just sit there and shoot, because we're being fucking fired upon already. And then you're going to move up over here, shoot into that entrance. Fire back, boys. We're getting wrecked. Because all these units are moving through right now, I can't fire back. There we go, now we're firing. Now we're talking. I really should have sent in the generals, to be honest. I don't know why I didn't. Get in there. Okay, you and your oily, oily shots should have a, a pretty good time firing in that as well. I would imagine. Although, I don't know what the fuck you're doing over here firing at them, but okay. What a mess. What an absolute mess. 
They've routed most of their stuff down. But that doesn't help us a whole lot. Because now I gotta chase them. Played Rome 1 for 8 years. 8 years old. With a, oh, when you were 8 years old. For me, Rome 2 is a new game. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I'm looking forward to the new game Elysium. <laughs> the card game. So much negative negativity on the trailer yesterday. My god. I understand where people are coming from on on one hand, like but on the other hand it's like just give it a fucking chance before you write it off. I just hate it when people write shit off before they even think about it. Ah, this annoying battle. I just wanna want this to be over. Did you try Rome 2 with Divided Impera? Uh, the the only complete campaigns I have on Rome 2 on my channel are with Divided Impera. Actually no, I have some co-op campaigns I think I finished as well. But yeah, I divided in para. Although that was an older version, I didn't try the newest one. Basically, when they added um, like different kinds of populations for your units, so like uh, lower, like lower, like I don't know what what they call them, but like plebs and then like higher tier units, like nobles and stuff. When they added all that kind of stuff, I couldn't be bothered anymore because it becomes too complicated. Oh shit! She got dismounted. It's annoying. It becomes too complicated. It's not fun for me anymore when they do that. Like, I, I like the supply system. Just to an extent, but... Ah, oh, this fucking battle, dude. This is so annoying. I've never had them run away this far before. Very annoying. Sega updates. What the fuck? Sonic at the Olympic Games. What the hell is this? A mobile game. Right, fuck off. Blood shall flow like rivers and heads shall fly high. Maybe. God damn it, I should have thought it was all this after all. It's taken way longer than the average battle like this. Oh, what the fuck? I don't even know why I'm using ranged block chance. If she wasn't dismounted, it may have not been so bad, but. Oh my god, I really, in this kind of scenario, I really wish I had something higher than triple speed. Because this is one of those battles that I'm never going to lose, but it just takes fucking ages. Because I'm chasing all these goddamn units that don't want to stand still and fight. And I can't really kill them very quickly, because I'm either dismounted, or like they're in like such a small place, I can't flank them or anything. I can't shoot them, because my archers are so far behind. They're finally here now, though, but... Ugh. Are we ever going to get badass Nanban invasion DLC? Probably. I think that's what most people is going to be the next one, right? What most people think is going to be the next one, I mean. Are we winning? Yes. Just very slowly. There we go. You arrived, Lucas. Thank you for arriving. That was that was clearly the, the thing that the AI needed. They were like, fuck, the Austrians here. Might as well give up now. Alright. So, yeah, all we got to do in this campaign overall is just kill a couple more armies. And then we make the Duchy of Song, or Kingdom of Song... Um, abdicate, and that'll be that. That's all we gotta do. For me, it's a remake of Rome 1, but with a lot more qualities. I need to go man, good luck with the Shogun. With the Shogun free people watching your channel. Have a good one, dude. All we do is win, 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 no matter what. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, it's got a bunch of food. Yeah, this is really a food province, but whatever. An heirloom spear. I very much doubt anyone needs that. What is Defiant, actually? Uh, okay, sure, why not? Um, right, so yeah, I don't know if he has Night Battles. He doesn't, actually. Do you have Night Battles? Oh, well, if I could have seen that one, because he can have Night Actually, you can have Night Battles, too. Those are the three classes that can have Night Battles. I don't want to risk it. Otherwise, I'd recruit an army here right now, but it's fine. We'll just do the next turn when Kong Rung's fucked off. Right, so we were on minus, or we were on 30 something. It's actually gone worse. So taking our capital apparently made the chance of making them abdicate worse. I don't know how that worked, but okay. We are uh, closing closing in to some armies though. There is of course an army in um, ambush stands there. We're still chasing this one. Hopefully he takes the front line. Or they're losing men as well, which sounds okay, but it could actually be, end up being really annoying. We have a level up on, oh right, that's pay you on Sha, who I can't level up. Um, we've taken this place here as well, but that's that's one of the vassal towns. You're on your way there. You're still mirroring that army. You're just kind of hanging around, waiting for 
blue boost the blue base to boys to come back again. All right, end the turn. Kong looks fucked off. Oh, there he is, Shang Fei. So much movement. All right. Uh, Commander Vassal during a war. Young Feng died, and Xu Huang took over on that faction. Interesting. Is that this one here? Is that my? Uh, yes, that's my um, Empire ally. The finest armor, an exquisite weapon. Wow. Okay. And Lu Fan ranked up. Not Quite bad. Here you go. Yes, that's a good level up to get just before we go into a battle with uh, what's his face. So we can now. Well, yeah, I'm gonna chase him. I could take this farmland here, but he's over, he should be over here somewhere. Oh no! <laughs> he was over here somewhere. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's only one way. To... Oh fuck. No, <laughs> you should be here somewhere. I was like, wait, how can I not see him? Oh man, we avoided one ambush only to run into the next one. Okay, um, we have good units though; they can hold their ground pretty well. It's just the fact that we can't obviously set up. Our our range units are gonna get slaughtered, but. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's actually really crazy how they... Oh no, I can't do that. Okay, you guys line up over here or something. I don't know what you're gonna fucking do. Uh, okay. Um, you guys, run this way somewhere. Okay, get into those archers. Luckily they put the archers nicely uh, out there by themselves. That's good. That's very nice. Okay, get in there. Get in there. My archers... Destroy their cab if you can. Actually, just shoot into those right right now. Shoot in here. Okay. What? Ding dong. Ding dong. Okay. Well, you've got venomous shot as well now. If I can uh, do this, let's try to shoot some generals. Let's kill some generals. Stand right there. Yeah, that's gonna hit probably. Only if I can imagine. Okay, we killed some of our range units. That's good. At least this army's pretty good. Did you do it? I think so. Kill him as well, actually, while you're here. No, don't run into melee with him. Stand right there. Yes, yes, yes. Don't melee him. Don't melee. Yes, pull out the bow. Oh, the point blank. Oh! There we go. That's one gone. I killed some of my own units as well. That's okay. Okay, get in there. Uh, yeah, sure. Kill, their, kill whatever you can kill right now. We're gonna lose a bunch of tr troops here, which kind of sucks. It's gonna slow us down on the uh, campaign, of course, but... If we can win, then... It's okay. Oh, he got dismounted immediately to, upon jumping in there. I did not expect that to go so poorly. Okay. I got some cab running rampant, I'm pretty sure. The defenders of Earth, those were. Oh, I'm glad they fucking got into melee. They went quickly. There's some cav. So I got two cav, three cav. Where's my fourth one? Is that this one here? Yes. Okay. Get out of there. Yeah, kill those defenders of Earth. I do need, I do need them dead. Kill her. Kill you one shot, yeah, he's, he's next after... Actually, start by using a Venomous Shell on him. But I might miss, though, because he's kind of in an awkward position. Uh, Alright, I think we've mostly stabilized here. You, right, you are, are the one I totally forgot about. Okay, we actually, we're, we're losing pretty hard there. Okay, you shot. Oh, that was a complete miss. That wasn't even close. You just get, stick in, stay in there. Okay, let's move up to Yuan Shao and just fucking blast him. And it worst case scenario here, I'll hit a bunch of his units as well. He's moving. Hit him, hit him again, hit him again. Oh, didn't kill him. Go chase him though, he's probably unbreakable. Yeah, yes, alright, so that should be fine. Okay, you need to get over here. Four calf units cleaned up. Or cle like cleared up. 
I just got two units, please, to go in there. Thank you. Go over and help out our range units. Is he almost dead yet? Oh, I think we killed him, actually. Oh no! What the fuck's going on here? Get him! Get, get out of here! Use your debuff before you die. Get into the middle of our own troops. Save him! That didn't work. Oh, he's routing. Oh, she's routing as well. Oh my god, the timing, dude. Um, okay. Our range units are all freed up. Actually, no, these are still fighting now. Okay, fine. Come over here. Where's my other camp that I sent this way? That's this one here. Okay, you've dealt with that pretty well. Okay. Now, all the range units, minus you, come over here. Alright. You've come back from riding. Show us Hida! Uh, so, so, wow. So has Shido. What the fuck was that? Oh, actually, the, before you do anything else, this is way too good an opportunity not to use right now. Although, we're gonna be killing some other troops as well. Let's run them away from here. Get them in there. Oh shit. She fucking ran right in front of us there. Get her. You use that again. Alright, I'll be surprised if they, don't, if they don't route very soon now. What an ambush! Wow, you really tried. What a shame, you suck. Oh, we killed the other general, so it's just these two. Oh no, there's one unit over there that's almost full somehow. How the fuck? Okay. There we go. Oof, they actually almost got my trebuchet at the end there. Alright, well, it wasn't, you know, pretty, but it was also an ambush, so it was never going to be pretty, and we won, so that's the best we can hope for in that kind of situation. While you're still alive, why don't you go out and kill some people? You're dismounted, so you can't really do a whole lot. Alright. That was a good battle. At least we, we never really see these kinds of battles, so honestly, that was kind of worth it in that regard. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, kill one of those. Please kill one of those. That'd be really good. Yes, nice. He killed one. Oh, that's the best thing you could have done this whole battle. Kill that one unit, just so that unit dies off. There's uh, three of them I would have liked to have killed there, but oh well. Pyrrhic victory. I'll take it. Are there any more legacies of wood to complete? Yeah, there's a couple left. There's still the one where I need to duel with um, What's-His-Face several times since... Uh, um, and then there's like two other ones, I think. One where I need to take some territory, and one that, that like, the, the biggest one that we have. Like, the the last one that you're supposed to complete. But we're never going to complete that one. Oh, we lost a unit. Oh, we lost one too many, too, too, too many troops there. Well, I mean, we were off to go kill him, so let's continue that. Really? He can run away? Oh, what? How does that work? <laughs> he can still... Wow, that's so dumb. I did not expect that. What the fuck? Okay. Oh my god, I didn't even check those two items I got. They were fucking legendary. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright. Good shit. I got I got distracted, I guess, by the fact that I got fucking ambushed, to be fair. Um, wow, the fact that you can run away kind of sucks. Okay, so legendary gear is going to go to you. Or you. Still can't reach this army, fuck's sake. Alright, where are you? Are you in a more important army? You're in this one. Yeah, alright, you're gonna get the legendary armor. And the sword is actually not going to you. Mandate of War. Waking Dragon. Okay. This is the this is gonna go to uh Actually I could give it to um you already have a legendary weapon. You don't. You have damage weapons. Like, I, 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 you're supposed to give this to a, a strategist, to be honest, but I'll give it to her. I'll give it all up for you. Um, what did we pick up last time? Something over here. It doesn't matter anymore. Let's go for the income from industry. It should increase our income a little bit. 29k only. Wow. Disgusting. Uh, okay, so you can move full. We can reach Ye right now. It's annoying. I want to kill armies, not take cities. It's actually really frustrating that I can't reach any goddamn armies right now. We can reach this one here. Oh, we can actually... Uh, sorry. Abandon Hane for a second here. That's definitely the better thing to do here. 
See you later, dickhead. Abdicate. Hachu. Sneezing. Alright. And then you're gonna go back this way. We need some replenishment on you. Although... Yeah, no. You can take the farmland first. Probably. Hopefully. So, well, since you can't replenish right now, may as well sprint up and get that next turn. Okay. Bunch of both swarm people. It's time for a new army. Quickly. Quickly now! Xutai, Hongde, and Zhang Zhao. And you're going to get a bunch of these boys. Oh, not that many. Oop. And some of those. You are going to get... Well, we can't get the other ones, so you're going to just get the full army. Oh, sorry. Of uh, Defenders of Heaven as well. Protectors of Heaven. Whatever the fuck. And that one, you're gonna get the good old mercenary archers. Our beloved mercenary archers. And one unit of defenders of earth and trebuchet. Fantastic, there we go. Alright, you guys want some gear? I have some gear. Here's a spear for your gear. In the rear with the gear. Uh, nothing for you there. And here's a... Mouse thing, rats. You have a shitty axe. Wow, I never actually looked at your gear, clearly. Uh, you are gonna get a. Let's give you a spear as well, why not? And you have a horse, and nothing there. You have a pig. I think we're gonna give you uh, this one instead. You are gonna. Oh, you already have something. Wow, you have something that you didn't really need, okay. And a sickle there. Oh, right, this is given to him by what's his face, of course. You can have that book instead, and no horse for you. Alright, fantastic. You guys can sit inside also. Right, there's another army. Uh, what are we at now? Just that, I want to keep track of it. 20, alright, we dropped it by 10. So we're getting close. Um, did we have any other armies to do anything with specifically? I could chase this army here. But I don't know if it's worth doing. Yeah, fuck it. I have nothing else better to do, I don't think. You're gonna keep following that army there. And you are on your way to take this livestock farm, which we can actually do right now. Fantastic. This is actually one of the towns I think we need for our mission. Shared exp Oh yeah, shared experience. Expertise, whatever. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's one of them. So we need Zhang Yang, uh, both the provinces of that. Both the, the parts of that. Which is... That's Badong. This one. Well, I mean, that actually isn't that crazy to assume that we can do that, so. Uh, and you can replenish for a little bit longer. And you are going to get disbanded now, I think. This army is still taking attrition. If I attack it, will they join in? I don't... It doesn't look like it. I'll leave you here. There's no reason not to. Okay. Uh, we've still got one army that hasn't moved yet. Oh, that's you, right. We've got to take this town here. Establish order! And then go take that one as well. Okay, uh, that's all we got. Let's end our turn. Again, I could build buildings, but I'm so unfussed right now. The amount of income we have. I just built another army and we're still making stupendous amounts of money. There's like, it, nothing's gonna change that anymore at this point. That dick at army, dude. What an absolute twit. There's a Kong Rong army. Okay. He's going further down. I mean, the, more, the further he's going, the more attrition he's taking, so I can't really be too fussed about that either. Just curious, do you ever start up a campaign these days with words you might not win? Not really, no. Um, although, in that, in that, I, I, I should say, in fairness, um, this was months ago, to be fair, but I did a vote at some point where um, uh, I was supposed to do a Yuan Shu campaign. That was this was before like two of this was like two camp two uh, DLCs ago. I'm pretty sure it was Eight Princes or around Eight Princes time. But yeah, Yuan Shu campaign and the regular Free Kingdoms campaign, and I tried it and I actually lost in the beginning several times because he starts off with like stupendous amounts of stuff happening around him, so I ended up not actually. Uh, doing that campaign, because I, I just couldn't at the time. 
Uh, right, you're gonna have to go take this now. Probably gonna have to fight that one manually again. <laughs> I fucking hate these battles, dude. Alright, I'll do that in a second. Uh, you can go take this farmland now. And start replenishing. I'll probably uh, auto resolve this one. Even if it's a field battle, close victory. Fuck it, I'll take the replenishment for a while. No one died, so it's all good. Okay. Um, you need to still chase this army here, which is getting more and more annoying. And again, using Lubu for this really sucked. Right, I was supposed to do the uh, Sheriff's Peace last turn. Totally forgot. He probably would have actually gotten there this turn had I done it. Ooh, actually. He... Oh my god. He did get there this turn. Sweet. So... Oh yeah, right. You got two points on the final level up. I totally forgot about that. Sweet. So now he's going to actually have more movement. I should have done that first, of course. But actually, I might. it might take a turn before you get the extra movement anyway. So I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Uh, you're going to fully replenish next turn. I could also just go and attack this army here. But that's not... Um, Dutch or the Kingdom of Song himself. You are going to go back to deal with that. Just go in there, right? Yeah. Um, the other army went over here. You're going to keep following this one along the coast. She might be going here now. Or they might be going towards her. But that army is taking so much attrition, I'm not too fussed, actually. So I'm actually going to go take this toolmaker in a single turn. Oh, trespassing for the other turbines. Sorry about that. By buy extra share experience, yeah. It's at this point it's so irrelevant. There you go. Have twenty five regions north of the Yangshe River. Holy shit, didn't expect that actually acquire one of those. And also that one, so that's actually a pretty good reward as well, if we take this town here. Not bad. You are fully replenished, so let's get you this way as well. Yeah, I'll just sprint. Speed this shit up. That army is being chased. I'm just gonna disband you guys now. I could get rid of the units first, but I really just don't care. I'll probably never use Lady Wu anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I think, honestly... No, there's too many armies. I'll fight this one manually as well. I was gonna say I'll auto-resolve this one after all, but no. There's too many armies around there that if I do get attacked right away, I might... I probably wouldn't be, but I might be in actually actual uh, trouble if they besiege me immediately. Come, son. I thought you. I thought he had a, a specific thing with her where he was saying "come soon," but that would, be, would have been kind of weird. But uh, no, he just he was just talking about the sun, not about Sun Wen. Oh well. Okay, yet another. Battle that takes way longer than it needs to. Let's fucking go attack this corner here. I didn't even see if they have uh, defensive stuff on their walls. I let's hope not, or this is going to be even more annoying. Nope. All right, blow hole in the wall there. Um. Tempted to just kind of move up right away, take extra damage, but speed this shit up. So you go, you go there, and the archers go behind you. Are you shooting? Oh, you are. Okay. Oh, you are. Are you? Well, we'll see about that. Good. Another one. Once more. I will actually send them in right away as well. Preferably not get dismounted immediately, though. That'd be annoying. Okay, let's just get you guys up closer. Their walls have crumbled into the breach. Kill that one. And you as well. Uh, trebuchet. Fire at this wall. I don't know if that's even going to be possible to hit it, but I don't care. I will gladly take some extra damage just to get this done. But not too much, because then I could have just auto-resolved it instead. Our sister is under attack. Wait, hold on. What? She said our sister is under attack, but she's the sister. What are you talking about? Oh, she got dismounted? 
Oh, they both cut. Fuck's sake, that's gonna be super annoying. If we can't make them all master out like this, plus there's gonna be a unit up there, isn't there? I can't see it though, so maybe there isn't. They had six units total. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. No, there's six, right? No, seven units, of course. Yeah, there's gonna be a unit there, I think. And we're gonna have to slowly run all the way over there. You son of a bitch. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage from these towers here. Let's get inside, actually. Um. Yep, there it is, all the way at the back. It's gonna take so fucking long to do this, just capture the towers. You can't do it, unfortunately, you're too weak. Uh, yeah, if you ask me, Franzus, Franzus, um, Free Kingdoms. I don't like Warhammer that much, though, personally, but a lot of people would say Warhammer, so. Take that as you wish. Another battle that's gonna take far longer than it needs to. Oh, there's still a fucking archer unit over here, what the hell? Maybe kill it, boys. What the fuck? Kill that one while we're here. You're here as well now, may as well kill them too. There's so many towers on this fucking town. I guess it's level 7, to be fair. It's high level. Okay, they're finally gone. Shatter them if we can. Before they come back again. Oh wait, she's not dismounted. What? I could have sworn she got dismounted. She's just slow as heck then, because she wasn't even that far ahead of him. And he has dismounted. Okay, what the fuck. Uh, archers, come up this way. Alright, we routed them. Let's make sure we kill them all. We're gonna go grab this tower set. Oh my god, there are so many towers. Uh, I want this to be over now. Please. Alright, there goes that unit. Just just move up here, taking towers as you go. They came back for routing, that's why I definitely told you guys to go and attack them. I don't know why you stopped. Just use the debuff. Fuck it. Speed things up a little bit. Why the hell have they not... Okay, there you go. I was gonna say, why have they not routed yet? That's ridiculous. Kill them all by yourself. You guys actually shoot them for a little bit while we're here, waiting. Okay, now we're not shooting anymore. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's routed from the tower damage, I'm guessing. Holy fuck, he took a lot of damage. What the hell? He almost died. You're out of ammo. What the f- What is happening? How are we out of ammo? How's that even a thing? Can you shoot that unit real quick? Just gotta fucking kill these goddamn units already. Take this fucking tower. Actually, range protection will help you. Oh my god, okay, just, 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 just fucking run before you get killed by this tower now. He's actually getting shot by it, so. Alright, kill that one please, just come over here and kill it. I'm so done. We could have just thought it was all this and probably, well, no, we would have done, we would have done worse for sure, but still. Warhammer Siege are crap, most sieges in, in Total War games are crap, to be fair. They're just, they're just not very good. Damn it, you go here, you go that way. Alright, kill that fucking unit, please. It's, I'm so tired of this. We've taken so much damage on these archers as well. And there we go, man. There we go. We've done it. We've absolutely done it. Alright. Hey, Craig. Yeah, it's a lot of towers, Fuxi. Like crazy. What game had the best sieges? Honestly, I think Attila had pretty pretty fun sieges, if I recall correctly. I remember some pretty cool castles on that. Or not castles, forts, I guess would be more appropriate. But, um... Yeah, most of the war sieges are just kind of shit. Let's downgrade that. Demolish that. Leave the rest. Where are we at? Huh? How are we doing here? 
8.7. All right, we're getting awful close now. One or two more armies, and that should be that. Hopefully, we can just kill this one next turn, and that might literally just be it. Uh, we have an army that hasn't yet to move. So that's you. Is that the final town? Next turn. All right, so that means that maybe we will complete the campaign literally the turn that we take the final town that's south of the river. I guess the only one that we don't own besides that is this one, and these ones are all vassal vassalized by us. Also, the Yangtze River and up the yellow tur yellow ribbon, the river. <laughs> okay. Um, with this army is still gonna replenish a little bit more. You're doing some replenishment. All right, let's fucking go. Empire's fun sieges. Yeah, I can't. I can't talk about that because I didn't play them. I didn't play Empire much at all. He's fucking going west again, this asshole. What the fuck is going on? Oh my goodness. He's still going. Where is he even going at this point? Is this going to be the final turn? I sure hope so. Zhang Yang has just died. Uh, fraternal. Why not? Nope. Oh, didn't mean to close that. Doesn't actually matter though. All right. Uh, we could take this. Si oh, we can't. You haven't got the movement because you're only you're a terrible army. Um, it might actually be already possible to be honest because they've lost a bunch more stuff. Nope. Five point four. It's very close though. All right, if you take this army out, that might actually be it. Eh, yeah, I'm going to survive, but then I'll die anyway because I'm stuck against the wall. What do you say to that? Well, Mr. Hansui, it's totally fine by me. Please feel free to do so. Oh, I sure will. All right, is that it? Are you going to make me take another turn because I can't reach anything else? Oh, you are, you son of a bitch. You absolute low, S lowest. Of oh, I can't even besiege that place. I can attack Kong wrong, but I don't really want to. I can't reach that right now. Uh, I could attack this town belonging to Kong wrong, which I don't think is going to help us. But I suppose it's worth a try, even though I really could use the replenishment. And there's probably going to be quite a decent garrison in there. But let's do it anyway, because it'll speed up our process. Yeah, close victory, medium losses, but I'll do it anyway. I'm not gonna bother fighting it. I'm done fighting. I guess I'll, that'll tell me if taking towns from his vassals will actually even help our cause or not. Uh, what the? Where's the? There we go. Nope, still 2.6. So that doesn't do anything apparently. Unless the impact it had is exactly the same amount of impact it had from losing the men that I did, but I find that unlikely. So if this was not under siege right now, I could have actually reached that, besieged it, and immediately went in there, but now I can't. If I go here, he could be annoying, but I find it unlikely he'll be annoying enough, so I guess it's okay. Um, guess we're going to take this town as well, since we're here. You might want to join in on that. Uh, no, let's just delegate. I don't care. So that should be another one of our woo things done as well, which is something. There you go. Firing rate for artillery and ammunition for artillery. So now there's only like two of them left that I haven't done yet, I think. There's the little conqueror, which is the jewel one. Never fucking... I, well, I got like two jewels, one with him, or maybe even one. And then the main one, which is never gonna happen. Well, actually, this happened sooner than I expected, so maybe... Ten regions that have access to the Yellow River shouldn't be too difficult. And level nine capital, I guess, isn't too bad either, but... Ours is level 5, so it would take a while. Although I suppose I could just do this. Done. <laughs> that was uh, easier easier said than... Actually, it was, it was easier done than expected. Alright, whatever. Um, I guess I could make it level 10. Fuck it, just go all out, right, while we're here. Oh my god, what is this? I've never seen this before. Yes, yeah, so I've never seen this before. I've never had a level 10 town, or they changed something. The fuck? Um, that one, please. And the marketplace. Oh my god, it's gonna make so much money, this place. Upgrade it all. 
Okay, whatever. I don't care enough anymore. Uh, okay, cool. 31 grand per turn. So you have one more turn we're going to take. Uh, that does mean I can go take this. So at least we have all that done. You can now retire after that. Did we just fucking get something from that? What the hell? Um, okay. Several armies that I've yet to move. You're once again still... F oh! Maybe we can do it this turn. Alright, do we fight one more battle? Because this is probably it. Yeah, alright. Let's fight one more battle. With Lubu. And then that should... That's a weird map. It's very thin. Or, like, not high, I mean. But yeah, that should be the end. I'm pretty sure we kill this army off. That's going to be them abdicating. Which will be the final... Straw. Or something. That broke the camel's back. There you go. That's what I was. That's the saying I was looking for. That's uh, actually I want you two on one side, and you two on the other. You know what? You guys sit up there. You come back here. You go. Right there. Should probably be in front, to be honest, but whatever. They have a lot of cav, actually. What the fuck is that army? It's just at least six cav there. Okay, this could be a little bit dangerous, but it's okay. And then one of you can go on fire arrows, and I should put down some stuff. For the final battle, may as well go all out. If it is the final battle, but it probably will be, because if anything, it'll be an auto-absorb on the next one. Lubu giving the final stroke. Uh, the only thing is actually, I need to make sure, well not make sure, but I probably need to kill the entire army off. Because if I don't kill the entire army off, then I actually might not still, it might still not be the final stroke. Use the same deployment for the last three streams, at least I think. How do you mean? Like the setup? The way that I set up my army? I've used the same deployment, that, if that's what you mean, <laughs> it's been the same for, I don't know how long, ever since... I realized this is the best way to deploy an army. Which has been a while. The setup. Yeah, I've been doing that for a very long time. It's just the best way to set up an army, in my opinion. In my humble, humble opinion. Jewel the two. Oh yeah, I guess if we can jewel, we should. Oh, they don't want to jewel. They want to jewel her? Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Alright, we're gonna get fucked. I'll do the jewel. You wanna go M9? There we go. Alright, come back here. We don't have uh, any good abilities, but it's okay. Except melee evasion, which is good. Did you consider playing as Bandit as the... Uh, that's... Yes. That's what I was supposed to be doing after the Sun Tzu campaign. But then the Sun Tzu campaign took a lot longer to complete than I expected because I ended up playing a lot of other games as well. So I don't know... I don't, I'm don't. i not sure if that's what I'll be doing. But yeah, that was the originally the plan. A Bandit campaign. Yes, what Callum said. Although I've also... I'm also considering just playing Jan by her. I just don't know if people want to see that since that's... Uh, like, the newest DLC, but probably played a lot recently, so might not be too interesting. But I'm not sure yet. Maybe that's what I'll do. And maybe I'll play Sheng Zhang, because that's something new as well. Um, are you going to win today? Actually, not doing too bad. I shouldn't complain. That's, that's pretty controlling right there. Dagon is actually gonna just get away. There's no way I can be able to, I'm gonna be able to reach the miter. Yeah, they're just faster than us. Actually, you could possibly reach, but I guess I'll try. Lubu, just no, you can't really get into those. Get into the defenders of Earth, though. That's worth killing for sure. Oh, noble comrade is under attack. All right, everyone's fucking immobilized. Alright, you won. Good job. Oh my goodness. Yep. Next jewel, please. So 
It's one of those weird battles where I want to send my cav in, but the enemy is just approaching so slowly that I can't. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do here. <laughs> Although, in this case, they're approaching slowly because I made them stop, but that's not the point. Shut up. Charge in there. A little bit of raging. Boom! Um... Oh, we actually killed that one, but I think one of them already got away, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna survive. With, like, 10 calf. If anything else, if that is... Wow. If I do kill everything else, anyway. You've been just debuffed by this dickhead. How dare he? How dare you? A Chinese meal? A succulent Chinese meal? Does anyone know that meme? It's so good. Get back on your high horse, lady. Alright, it was a kind of disappointing final battle. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, it is done. Lubu, let's switch uh, position, right? You kill them, or him, and then they'll kill them. Yeah, I think they're gonna get away anyway. That's another unit that's gonna get away as well. Wow, you fucking slaughtered him. Well done. Bye, Tabaka. Their battles are not like other factions, it's kind of refreshing. Yeah, that's why I think I wanted to go Bandits, because they, they obviously went through an overhaul. So they're a little bit more interesting now than they were before. Like, more diverse than they were before. So yeah. Definitely uh, something I'm, I've considered, or I was considering. Okay, they're definitely gonna get away, because some of these units over here are gonna survive as well. There's nothing I can do about that anymore. Let's kill that one off, and then I'll call actually this one here. I've had to pee for like an hour and a half as well, so that's why I really want to finish this campaign soon. So I may go to the bathroom. Alright, uh, that unit there. There, that's good enough. Love your vids, man. I'm a beginner, but I love Free Kingdom. It's my first Total War game that I'm playing. Still figuring out formation keys and whatnot. Yeah, it's good. It's a good game. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you'll continue to do so. Right, so the army got away. I very much doubt I can reach them again. Unless I was playing as Lu Bu's faction, in which case I'd get that unique thing where I can move it further, but it's not gonna happen. Can I? Nope. Right, was it enough, though, to wound the army? It was. Victory! Campaign is over! So I've had access for like a week or something, Fuxi, but I, uh, I'm probably not going to play it. The first embargo for us drops tomorrow, I think. And we're allowed to do like, I'm actually allowed to do like a two and a half hour stream if I wanted to, but you're not allowed to play with or against certain units, so I feel I just I just don't care about Warhammer Two anymore, so I'm not gonna bother. All right, this uh, thing is always irrelevant. But yeah, nice and then statistics. So <laughs> this is why I hate this so much. Longest serving Lady Wu. Sure, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we never used her. Actually, no, we 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 did recruit her once, but never used her. Uh, Sun Tzu has been in 33 battles and our most successful duelist with three successful duels with Sheng Zhang. Wow. Huang Gai got 2.9 kills. 2.9k kills. <laughs> 2.9 kills. He killed two guys wholly and then one guy put so in a fucking coma never to return. Um, anyway, seven characters died in service of old age, I'm assuming. We uh, did some duels. 92 counties in the end ourselves, but yeah, we have a whole bunch of vassal ones as well. Um, 
Yep. There's a bunch of uh, numbers. Some more numbers here. Our income was good this campaign. I will say that. What turn was it actually? Turn 91. Okay. Uh, that's yeah. Battle stuff's the most interesting. Numbers of soldiers lost 23k. Numbers of soldiers killed 138k. We lost 1.7k in a battle. Killed 5.1k in a battle. One character got 688, which is nothing compared to the previous campaigns where we had like 3,000 with one guy. Um, yeah, good stuff. 88 victories. How many battles did we do? 88. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, all right. Good shit. Let's uh, continue the campaign for just a second. Just have a look. Oh no! What happened? Wait, wh who's dead? Wait. What? Um, put Lady Wu in. You want Xiao? Yeah, put la you put you on Xiao in. Wait, what? Hold on. Who the fuck died? I'm so confused. Um, yeah, put Lady Wu in for a second. I don't even know what's going on. Wait, pay you one shout. Wait, what happened? Oh! Ah! <laughs> I've never had that before. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> okay, I know what happened. It's the army that we just fought. This one here. And then, of course, we took over the faction, and it wasn't their turn yet, so they couldn't have replaced the generals yet, so... I get to replace the generals in an army. Like, what the fuck? Alright. Good shit. I like how we got 10 grand and another 10 grand and it's still not even a dent in what we already had. And another 10, or unless that's just the same mission telling me like three times in a row. Oh, Lili died and Zheng Tai. Wow, that's so sad that that happened to them. Oh, and the game crashed. Well, if ever there wasn't a good timing on ending the campaign, what the fuck? Uh, you don't duel much, do you? I mean, I duel with the right people, but... Um, I, in this particular campaign, though, no, I gotta say, this had like the lowest jewels I've ever had, but in other campaigns, I've done lots of jewels. But yeah. I like how you guys immediately figured out whose armies, or whose army it was. That was, uh. Does Co op change the story? I don't think so. Um. Yeah, that was the campaign. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate it crashed right there. I think I have to take the town or the uh, I have to do the confederation again because otherwise it doesn't save or well, it's not going to be saved anyway. But I wanted to have a look around, but I guess it doesn't matter that much. Like dueling with Guan Yu, yeah. For example, we didn't have Guan Yu in this campaign. We had Zhang Zhang, and I dueled with her whenever I could. Uh, yeah. So we still we have to, we need to do it again. <laughs> Get ready, boys. Hold on. Victory! <laughs> we have victory! Alright. Skip the cutscene. Continue the campaign. I'm not going to do that this time. I'll lose my units. I'm okay with that. Alright. So I was looking at all this shit. End it! Okay, cool. So... Yeah, I don't know what I really want to look at, to be honest, but... Uh, just a, ch a cheeky peek real quick at what we have acquired. Where is Yuan Shao himself? There he is. Somehow I didn't see him. Um, doesn't even have any legendary... He's a shitty fucking John. What the hell's going on there? That's kind of sad, I'm not going to lie. Alright, well... Anyway. Uh, oh, we are technically still at war with the vassals, I guess. Yeah, okay, well, I wonder if we could peace out of those now. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, Kong Rong and Liu Bei, I could peace out immediately. And Zhang Bao's only got one town. So that's not a problem. I could even pe uh, trade with people. Actually, I only have one trade available, but still. Cool, yeah, that's a good place to end that campaign. Especially knowing I could peace out with, with Liu Bei and Kong Rong if I needed to. Not that I need to, because I can't just continue on the offensive. We have an army right here to deal with him. But whatever. I'm gonna leave it there. So... Who still hates you and maybe annexed South South? Nah, this campaign is done. I, I need to go to the fucking toilet right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm not sure what campaign will be next. Again, it, it might be a bandit one. It's very likely to be one. Um, it's kind of weird because normally I always, you know, I go from Total War campaign to Total War campaign. But now I've got some other series as well. So I may even just like not play uh, 
free K for a little bit, not like months or something, but maybe like a couple days, uh, and then just do some other stuff in the meantime, and then continue back again. But maybe do a Shogun Two campaign since that's obviously quite popular on the channel right now. The channel's never been better. Just like last week has been insane. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Until next time. Do you ever get the bug where the general finishes the jewel and walks around his horse for us to battle? No, I've, I've had him take quite a while to get up the horse, but never like a proper bug where it's just stuck forever. Anyway, until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day and goodbye.